10 minutes until the match begins. Again, that's 10 minutes until the match begins. Please finish your warm up, check your props, use the washroom if you need to and grab some food. The house is open. Five minutes until the match begins. For photosensitive viewers, please note that this performance includes bright and flashing effects. Depending on who is playing and how they play the game, there may be swearing and topics that are not family friendly. The match will begin shortly. This is Places.
are about to begin. For photo sensitive viewers, please note that this performance includes bright and flashing effects. Depending on who is playing and how they play the game, there may be swearing and topics that are not family friendly. The stage is set. Starting in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Hi everyone, my name is Milton Lim. And my name is Patrick Blencarn, and welcome to the first of three Culture Capital Online matches happening this fall. So you might be asking, what is Culture Capital? Culture Capital is a trading card game and performance project about the Canadian performing arts economy, including dance, theater, live art, and sometimes opera. We go to specific regions of Canada and create region-specific versions of the game. For each regional version, we combine public funding data about which companies and artists are receiving money from their government to make their art. And we combine that with perspectives of artists in that region about how value is being produced and determined within their context. Tonight's game pits two versions of culture capital against each other, the Edmonton Calgary version and the Vancouver version. This project was started when the arts economy wasn't particularly working well for some of its members. And since we are, are all still wondering uh, when and what the return to normal might look like, well, we're here to remind you. So if you want to learn more about the game and the project, please go to culturecapital.cards and there you can request the deck of your own. We're still versions of the game across Canada, so please keep in contact, reach out and look out for future tournaments in your area, post vaccine. But that is not why you're here this evening. You want to know which uh, person are we going to e-transfer $500 of sweet art money to? Will it be Team Alberta or will it be Team BC? So let's begin. Welcome to Culture Capital, the trading card game. A game where the line between culture and capital has disappeared. Today's match is presented in partnership with HowlRound Theatre Commons. Funding for the cash prize has been generously provided by Canada Council for the Arts and BC Arts Council. Tonight's match, Ralph Esker Milan vs Mark Hopkins. British Columbia vs Alberta, players. Please contribute grant funding to the government pool and shuffle your decks in preparation for the match. Mark and Ralph, do you have any words you'd like to exchange before the match? Uh, play well and I wish you luck. I hope you drink lots of water. <laughs> <laughs> Hydration is important. Cool. Each player begins with 20 communities. This will be a match to zero and the winner will receive $500 of sweet art money. To our spectators, place your bet now and feel free to cheer and heckle on your platform of choice. 
The match is about to begin. Break a leg. Have a good show. Match start. Alright, everybody. So, decks are shuffled, yes? Decks are shuffled. Thank for you my much. Day. Now, as is tradition, normally a game of Culture Capital begins by us comparing how much tax money uh, we had to pay uh, last year. But today we're going to do something a little bit different. Uh, the person who is going to begin tonight's game is the person who has received the most Serb. So, could you please tell me which one of you has received the most Serb? Zero Serb from Mark Hopkins. No Serb. Three Serbs for Ralph. Okay, which means that it is Ralph's start. So as we begin, both players take seven cards from their hand. Can you please do so now? Now, looking in your first hands, if you do not have a company, you may use the culture capital mulligan rule and take your entire hand, put it back in your deck, and take seven more cards. Both of you have the ability to do this right now, should you wish to choose so. I do not have a company. Then you may use your mulligan rule, Mark. All right. Ralph, are you going to use your mulligan rule? Nope. I'm good okay. to go. Ooh. Finally. All right, so it is your start, Mar uh, Ralph. Uh, it's your first concept phase. Please uh, play that phase. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put down two, uh, my two companies. Uh, okay. My first company will be ZZ Theater, established in uh, 20, uh, 2008. Um, I actually love the drag artist who, who owned this company. It's a, a, a Peach and a Zold. A Peach is actually my drag mother. One of my drag mothers. So that's really, yay! That's for you, Peach! Okay, and then I'm also going to put down a Pie Theater, which I also has helped me you know, quite well as well. They're really great people. And they support emerging artists. And they're established in 1984. Um, ZZ Theater, oh, and then I want, I was, can I roll? Can I roll? It is now your application phase, yes. Yes. Um, I'm going to spin my dice for ZZ Theater and move my bowl. And then I have a three. Can you see that? Three? ZZ Theater, and what does ZZ Theater need to be able to get a grant? I need the one. So I did no not get money for ZZ Theater. Money for ZZ Theater. And for Pi Theater, I need a one, two, or a three. Okay. And then I'm going to roll again. Oh man. Got a one. Hey. So I get a, I'm going to put a grant down for Pi Theater. Congratulations, Pi Theater. Now, in order to keep that grant, you must play a project right away. Do you have a project for Pi Theater? Um, yes. Yes. Um, I'm going to, it's going to start as in development mode, but it's going to be called, it's a uh, Serrano de uh, Garak, <laughs> a modern adaptation of the um, Rostand classic, but this time fixed with plastic surgery. So it's a traditional trauma. It's a value at project phases four, but in development, because I need two grants, it's going to be two. Um, right. And I don't believe there are there. Um, Pi Theater is traditional and political. So, yeah. And it has, so it, it can I be pl added plus two as well? You will get it. Cyrano de Bergerac has a plus for which keywords? Um, trauma and, uh, oh, sorry, tr traditional and political. That's Cyrano so de Bergerac's keywords? Tradition. Yeah, so then you would get a plus for those keywords. So right now it's at a four. Okay. And then I'm, um, the last thing I'm going to do is, uh, so I'm, I'm going to skip my uh, uh, my uh, strategy. Production phase? Production phase, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to go just, uh, I'm just going to add uh, a trap card. OK. Lay it now. And there. Very good. And that's the end of your first turn. Now, 
Mark, because it is your first turn and you were not the first player to go, you can discard any card in your hand. Uh, great, I'm going to discard it. two cards. Okay. Drawing two more. And thank God I finally have a company. So, I have the great pleasure of working with Alberta Ballet, established 1966, traditional and nostalgic. And uh, you'll notice, Grant Power of Six, Alberta Ballet always gets grants. <laughs> Very good, so moving oh. into your application phase. Yeah, let's roll to see if Alberta Ballet gets a grant. Oh look, it does! Grant you Alberta Ballet. And uh, they thrive on traditional nostalgic work. Um, they're gonna do something a little uncharacteristic, though. They're gonna put on a show called Fucking Dramatic. Uh, it is inspired by something from HBO, lots of sex, tons of danger, uh, and not worth very much at all. It's sort of like Alberta Ballet's maybe studio series, uh, but it only requires one grant, so it's open. Ooh, which means that we are in our first competition of the night. Uh, so, Mark, your show is open. Ralph, your show is still in development, but it's still eligible to be competed with. Mark, you get to lead this competition. How would you like to begin the competition? Uh, so, uh, fucking dramatic in production is worth two, but because it is traditional, this is a, a, in the expertise of Alberta Ballet, it gets a plus one. Okay. So I think I'm a three against a four right now. Is that Three right? against a four. Would you like to add any value to your show or possibly subtract any value from Ralph's show? Uh, if you don't, you're going to lose. Yes, well, dramatic. the only thing I can do is overkill, but uh, there's, I'm afraid, a dancer dearth, Ralph, in your community. Since the local university dance program closed, the skill level of young dancers has declined, and your project loses eight points. Ouch. Which means that, Ralph, you're down to a negative four, and uh, Mark, you have three. three. Ralph, okay. how would you like to respond? In offense, I would like to use my trap card. Yes. Okay. Um, which is a negative. Uh, it's a sorry. It's a land acknowledgement uh, minus. Uh, what does it it say? was a blunder. You could not accurately pronounce Mahuyum. Which is a how much? It's negative four. Okay. Which means that Mark, you're at a negative one, and Ralph, you're at a negative four. Currently, at this time, both of these shows are of so little value that they are going to cancel each other out. Uh, Ralph, since you're on defense, you actually have the ability to play another strategy card if you want. Do you want to? And you get yourself out of the negatives and maybe have a show that is at least in some way valuable to a community somewhere. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just checking this. I have this one card. I'm just going to read really properly. So these are burnouts, right? They're both burnouts? They would possibly both die if, uh, but Mark still has a chance to respond, so. Okay, um, I think I'm okay for now, that's all. Okay, Mark, how do you respond to this I situation? I have nothing to respond with, <sighs> so this will teach Albert about late to do, you know, indie studio shows. Which means right now, both of you are going to lose your projects, send their money back to the government, and take a hit against your company's project limits. Alberta Ballet. Uh, so Ralph, you lose your your project. Yeah. And I have a two project limit, so that'll go into my graveyard. Oh, and we have a three project limit, so that's one of my three. And, and my Ralph goes uh, back to the government. Yep. So Mark, it's still your turn. It's your strategic planning phase. Uh, what do you want to do? If I'm not mistaken, I can lay a trap and a strategy, or...? You can lay one trap and play one other gray strategy card. But again, Wonderful. orange strategies are as many as you wish. Great. I would like to lay a trap. I have done so. Uh, and... Uh, yeah. Uh, I guess Alberta Ballet has uh, engaged in relaxed performance. We put inclusivity first, and that gains us access to more communities. So we get plus four to our target communities. 20, 20, 20, 24. First game of the night. 
There are now 44 communities worth competing for. Uh, so that's the end of your turn, Mark, right? I believe so. Very good. Okay, Ralph, back to you. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put one card before I start. I'm gonna put one card in the card. Okay. Using two, then I'm gonna pick up five cards. I'm gonna um, Do you roll have any for companies ZZ that you want to play. Yeah, I'm gonna pr um, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna add another company. Okay. Before, and then I'm gonna roll my dice. For, Wait, uh, who did you just play on the table? Oh, sorry, sorry. Urban Inc. Uh, okay. Theater 2001. What are they specializing they in? Have uh, one to four uh, for the roll. Okay. Grand power of one to four. And what and are the then, keywords, bro? Sorry, the keywords are, the are keywords? indigenous and musical. Great, thank you. Okay, I'm gonna roll my dice. For, I'm gonna do ZZ Theater first, then I go to Pi, and then Urban Ink. Uh, okay, so I needed a one for ZZ Theater. I got a three again. No dice. Um, for Pi Theater, I needed a one to a three. I got a five. Ooh, no money. Really bad, wow. And for Urban Ink, I need one to four, and I got a two. There okay. you go. I got a, two. I got a grant for that one. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with that, I'm also going to add a project that'll go straight to, um, so that'll go into development. Um, it's a it's it's a very it's a very unique piece uh, that Urban Ink is uh, going to be creating, an indigenous um, and musical based company. Um, it's called Let My Hands Talk. A show completely in American Sign Language, so it's the first right. time we're like they're gonna start uh, accessing a, a different uh, audience or a group of people, um, uh, and uh, AS, I'm using ASL um, for the deaf and hard of hearing communities. So I expect this to be a really challenging work for them. Um, there's no uh, no connection at all uh, to the company with, with Target um, um, terms, so it's just gonna be. Uh, uh, in development of with four, the power okay. of four. Okay. So you don't have anything for your production phase then that can be opened, but you can move into your strategic planning. Should you uh, have anything you want to play there? Yeah. Um, I'm just. I'm gonna add. Uh, I have a gray check mark. Okay. What are you gonna um, do? For uh, it's a plus four relaxed performance. You put an inclusivity oh, first. Two. And that gains you access to more communities. So plus four. Twenty 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 four. Development, correct? That is to your actual community points. Actual so my community goes, points. So great. So that goes to your graveyard now. It's wonderful okay. to see relaxed performances getting traction. Right. And then I'm also gonna add a. Uh, I'm gonna add a. Trap card. Okay. And. I cannot do any more strategy, strategies, right? Any, you cannot any unless grade. you have orange cards that you want to play. And no, I don't. So that's all I'm going to do. Very good. Uh, which means we're back over to you, Mark, for your concept phase. Wonderful. I'm going to stick with these two cards and draw five more. One, two, three, four, five. What do we got here? Oh, great. We have another company. So we're going to introduce to the fray Azimuth Theater, established 1991. They specialize in political theater with a grant power of two. All right. Uh, so from there, I guess we'll start uh, our application phase, hey? Going for gold. Wonderful. So let's start. Roll for Alberta Ballet just for the hell of it. Hey, look, they get a grant. Oh, what a surprise. And Azimuth needs a one or a two. Got a five. Sorry, Azimuth. No money. Uh, but what do they like doing? Traditional and nostalgic. Um, 
Oh, we don't have either of those things. So Alberta Ballet is going to develop Musical Chairs, a site-specific social theater performance where performers will take and give up the seats at the front of the bus in order to incite meaningful conversation. Uh, it's an accessibility and musical show. And that is, uh, needs another grant, so it's in development with a grant power, uh, or a uh, power of two. Okay. So, moving into your strategic planning. Okay. Uh, I have no strategic planning to engage in. Ah, that sounds precarious. <laughs> 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 sounds familiar, actually. Never any time for strategic planning. Uh, all right, which means that I'll just back over to you for your concept phase. Um, before I go on, I'm gonna pick up uh, four cards. I only okay. have three right now. One, two, three, four. Nice. Whoa. So I'm just gonna, I, I don't have any, I'm not gonna roll for um, Pi or ZZ, but I'm gonna roll again for Urban Ink for another grant. And I need three for Let My Hands Talk. So, and I need a one to a four. And I got a one. Hey! It's a one. It's a one. Uh, so I'm going to put a grant there. Thank you. It's still in its uh, development phase. So at this moment, I'm going to, what is it? Yeah, that's all I'm going to do, I think, I believe. All right, so you're in strategic planning again. You already have a trap, but if you want to play anything else or switch out that trap, yeah. you can do so. And this, I can go, I can go, hmm, hmm, hmm. I'm just gonna do, can I, I can target one of uh, my projects, right? I believe. Uh, I have a card that uh, could do that. Yeah, possibly, you would have to just yeah. play it and I'll tell you if you messed up. Sure. <laughs> um, I'm gonna right? use uh, the strategy, strategy uh, my this two for targeted communities. Um, they, them, there. You can't seem to get people's pronouns right. Then you, they give up oh. on a. On a I forget that work you have there. Twenty-three, okay, twenty-two. Down two. We should really know better. <laughs> it's hard. It's, it's hard. Yeah, generation. yeah. Alberta ballet audiences. Yeah, there's a learning curve. Yeah. Uh, so that's the end of Ralph's turn. Mark, it is back over to you for a concept. Phase. Great, I am going to discard one card, uh, and I guess I need to draw three more. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Um, great, so I actually got two more companies. What the hell? I'm uh, going to introduce Northern Light Theatre, established in 1975. They specialize in traditional work with a grant power of three. And uh, Making Treaty 7, established 2013, specializing in indigenous and political work with a grant power of four. I've worked with them, they're terrific. Uh, yeah, and I guess we'll start rolling for some grants. What are you gonna roll for? I think First I'm gonna part. roll for all of them, starting with Alberta Ballet. Alberta Ballet gets a grant. Surprise <laughs> and that means they can open musical chairs. Very good. Uh, rolling for Asthma Theater. Need a one or a two. Got a one! Way to go, Asthma. Hey. Northern Light Theater needs a one, two, or three. Got a five. Making Treaty Seven. One, two, three, or four. Two! Hooray! So, uh, Asimut likes doing political, indigenous, political. Um, Boop, 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 boop. So Azimuth is going to put on uh, The Right Beside You, a ah. show about how the person beside you might not think you deserve basic human rights. Ah. It is 
political, and that uh, needs two grants to open, so it is in development. Uh, the grant power of two, but because it is political, it gets a boost of three, worth five. And, um... Let's see. Making Treaty 7, what are they going to do? They're going to put on a little show uh, called The Apology, a beautiful reenactment of every significant political apology in Canada's history. It is Canadian and political, and I think fully appropriate for Making Treaty 7. Uh, it That's only has the one grant, so it is open as well. Uh, okay, so that means that you've got two shows open, ready to compete with Ralph. Ralph, you only have one show that's currently in development, is that correct? Yes. All right, so Mark, you're going to lead this competition. You get to choose which of your companies is going to compete with Ralph first. Sure. What, uh, Ralph, remind me what your show is working, worth in development? Um, my work in development is Let Me uh, Let My Hands Talk uh, with Urban Inc. And it's right now it's at a full four in development and I'm waiting for one grant. Okay. okay. Uh, so actually, uh, the apology is going to go up against, uh, I've forgotten the name already. Let My Hands Talk. Let My Hands Talk. Great. So uh, the apology uh, with its political bonus would be worth two is now worth four. Okay. So do you want to add anything to that show at this time? I certainly do. Well, in fact, not anything to this show, but uh, on your show, Ralph, there has unfortunately been a workers' comp fail. Uh, one of your performers is hurt, but I guess you're in Alberta, and Alberta doesn't offer actors workers' comp. So that's a minus four. Tragic. So what is our current score? Ralph, you're at what now? Zero. Zero. And Mark, you have four. Is that correct? Uh, correct. Four to zero. Okay, Ralph, you get to respond. You're on defense. So what are you gonna do? I have a trap. Can I can I unveil my trap card? You may use your trap and one additional strategy should you choose. Ooh, I think <laughs> I'm gonna do uh, bad audience analytics. More comp tickets than soul tickets. Brutal. Negative four. Ooh. Ooh. Which means that we're at we're another zero, zero zero competition. Uh, Ralph, do you want to play another card? Yes, I do. Um, I wonder if I can do this. Play it, and I'm I'll tell be... you if you can't. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna be nice. Um, I'm gonna do uh, uh, one of the, uh, a gray card with an. You can't play a gray um, card during just a kidding. competition. Keep... <laughs> I'm gonna do. Okay, cool. I'll be mean then. Great. Um, I'm gonna do uh, keep digging. Uh, you publish a letter explaining why your version of cultural appropriation is not like other people's. That's minus 10. Making Treaty 7 did that? That seems uncharacteristic. Yeah. I know. Well, Very odd. Everyone makes mistakes, however. <laughs> I you know, you know, people are changing. Uh, Butter Ballet is changing. Treaty 7 is, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that means that our current score is negative 4 for Ralph and negative 10 <laughs> for Mark. So what's happening right now is just everyone is producing work, but it's awful. Uh, <laughs> it's all just awful. Uh, Sounds familiar. So, Mark, what? How are you going to get yourself out of this hole? You know what? Making Treaty Seven is really uh, feeling very ashamed for the uh, the mistake they've made. So they're just going to fold this show, I think. Okay. Which means that at this point, no communities are going to be exchanged because no one went to any of these projects and no one supported them. But both of you are going to lose these projects. So Farewell can you please the send both of your projects to the graveyard? Let my hands okay. talk. Farewell and your grants go back to the government. And it is still, however, Mark's production phase, and we are still in competition. Correct, because now we have- Mark, What have you uh, got right now? Alberta Ballet's Musical Chairs, uh, which is worth four uh, in production. What is Musical Chairs about again? It's a site-specific social theater performance where performers will take and give up the seats at the front of the bus in order to incite meaningful conversation. Cool. <laughs> I thought so. Weird for Alberta Ballet, but I like that they're branching out. Uh, so what's it worth again? It is worth four. It's a four. Ralph, you have no defense right now, so it's four against zero. Mark, you get to lead the competition. Uh, I'm just going to let the four stand. Let the four stand. OK. Ralph, how do you respond? Could I respond? Oh, I can't respond with the. Oh, I can't respond with the, a gray X, right? I can't. No, you cannot. OK, well. Um, uh, right now, what I'm going to do instead, I have nothing. I can't do anything. 
Okay. But I'd like to use an orange card. You could, if but you can't. Don't have to ask permission to do that. But otherwise, okay. I'm going to call the end of this competition. <laughs> <laughs> He's done. Okay. I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna do this just for my own uh, benefit, maybe. Um, I'm gonna burn two cards from your hand. Never got off the ground. I only have two okay. cards left, so I guess you're burning Perfect. these. Two. These Perfect. go to my. Uh, they go to your graveyard. Right. Now that doesn't. Uh, interesting strategy <laughs> played by Ralph nope. here, uh, but it doesn't protect the four communities from going from your side of the table to Mark's side of the table. So that means yep. the current score is 26. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 26. And it's now, Mark, the end of your turn. It's your strategic planning phase. What are you going to do? Uh, if I had any strategic plans, they just got burned up by Ralph. So Wicked. moving on. Over to you, Ralph. <laughs> Cool. Okay, I'm gonna pick up. Uh, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna put two cards in my um, graveyard. I'm gonna pick up five, three, five. Great. And I'm Maybe gonna. While Ralph is looking at those cards. I just want to say in the chat, Cody Rowland says that he's got money on Mark. So oh, fingers Cody! crossed. Feeling the love. Thanks, buddy. No one has money on me. Um, <laughs> I'll do, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, uh, try to get a grant for ZZ Theater. Um, and I need a one, so I'm gonna roll for that. Hey! <gasps> oh my gosh! Way to I go, did it. There's a one! Finally! Hey. Um, and with that work, I'm gonna put a project down, um, into development. I need two grants for this. It's called Non-Binary. It's a queer uh, tech show. A group of queer, uh, gender queer coders perform live coding in a celebratory act of resistance. So ZZ is going tech. Great. That's really exciting. Um, cool. Wait, what's your money? Where's your money for ZZ? Sorry? Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, you gotta put here. the grant down, yeah. Yeah. Um, I need two for that, so I'm just gonna go into development right now because they they um, they have they both are queer. Uh, in development's three, and it's also added three, so it's a, a total number of six in development. Mm. Um, and then I can go to strategy. I, I can go. Sorry, I can go into um. Sorry, development. I can. Add... Strategic planning. Is that what you want to do? Strategic planning. Yes. Yes. Great. Strategic planning. <laughs> um, right now, I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, which means we're back over to Mark. Well, you get a full new hand. Yeah, right? seven cards. Ooh, so here that's we go. dangerous. One, two, three, four, seven. All right, bear with me, folks, while I figure out what I'm holding. My goodness. Pastor, do you have any uh, cool things to say? Do I have any cool things at all? I I'm good to venture my... Oh, well, uh, uh, maybe Mark, <laughs> too late, too late. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> but I want to hear what the cool thing was. Well, all I was thinking about was that all of the Canada Council results have come back for theater and dance in the last week. Yes. So for those watching, maybe this whole experience is very on the nose. Yes, uncomfortably raw. Traumatic. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. um, right now, Alberta Ballet has a show closed. I'll roll to reopen at the end of this. But in the meantime, okay. I will roll for Azimuth Theater in the hopes of opening the right beside you. Need a one or a two. Got a two! Ooh. So that's two grants, therefore the right beside you is now open. Uh, rolling now for Northern Light Theater. It needs a one, two, or three. Got a four, sorry, no delay. And Maiden Treaty 7 is trying to make a comeback after the uh, really shameful uh, end of their last show. One, two, three, or four. Got a three! Hey. Way to go. Just don't culturally appropriate things. Yeah, come on, MT7. Um, so MT7 is going to put on uh, haircuts by Octogenarians. 
Uh, they've been cutting hair for longer than you've been alive. A performance, a dance, they'll talk your ear off. It is experimental and immersive, not really in MT7's wheelhouse, but they're branching out after the last failure. Uh, it needs three grants, so in development, it is worth four. Awesome. Uh, yeah. So to reopen your show, would you like to reopen Alberta Ballet's current project? Yeah, I think it went really well the first time. So why don't we uh, try to roll even... That wonderful musical chairs show. That's right. It really was a hit with the audience. So come on, evens. Odds. It is not that much of a hit. No one However, actually wanted to get back on the bus with Alberta. No. <laughs> uh, that, that piece would really connect to the youth of people, you know? No. That's what I, I thought. But... It's only a matter of time before we actually start seeing things like that in like social distance. It's like musical chairs with like two meters apart. <laughs> But we do have the right beside you uh, open and ready to greet communities. Uh, Okay, which means that we're in competition between the right beside you and ZZ Theaters. uh, What's ZZ Theaters right now? It's Uh, non binary, -binary. right? It's uh, it's, it's on six right now in development. Okay, you've got a six, and what is the right beside you? The right beside you is normally worth four, but gets a uh, plus three political bonus for seven. Seven. So it's seven to six. Mark, you get to lead the competition. Yeah, um, so unfortunately uh, for your project, fast walking, you say everything is dance, but others are pretty sure your choreography is just people walking quickly. So that's a minus two to your project. Mm. Brutal. Dang it. Uh, So that means that it is a seven to a four. Ralph, it's your turn to respond. Um, I'm gonna... I can add a, I'm gonna add a plus four to, to my project as a rebuttal. Um, nudes, uh, all your performers were waxed before the run. The crowd is captivated by how smooth they look. Hey, so they might just be walking quickly, but they're squeaky, slippery, <laughs> smooth as they go. <laughs> and that's how it right, trades out. So we were at a, we were at a, sorry. Where you we were at, at a four, four. you were at a four, and now you're at an eight, I'm at is an that eight. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so it's, it's seven serving eight right now. Oh dear. Uh, Mark Hopkins, what are you gonna do? Uh, well, I wouldn't have been able to do something, but uh, in a stroke of luck, uh, what company is that? ZZ. ZZ Theater has decided to fuck the system. Uh, your company is fed up with our colonial granting system and refuses to participate any longer. The target company disappears from the game and does not return. It is an honorable thing, but it doesn't fix the system. Sorry, Ralph. It's easy theater. That's a great stand that you're taking. Your drag mothers, your drag mothers strutting off the stage. They're rolling in, in their, their five inch pumps. <laughs> Great. So they're so sorry. This is dead. It's burned out. It's, it's gone. It's gone. It's just gone. Oh. So it goes to the graveyard along with its strategies. Grant goes back. And the grant goes to uh, the government. Now, Mark, that was a that was an instant card. Am I correct? Yes. And I have uh, no further competition okay. cards. Which so means that uh, I have you have a chance now to respond, Ralph. Okay. Um, I would like an, I'd like to know what they're working on, so if they could show me um, the target player's hand. What, what are you working, you working on? on? Ah. Oh. What are you working on? So, so what does that mean? I expose my hand? You have to show yeah. Ralph all of your cards. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, we have a pro. this is what we're working on, a project called A Cold Read. Okay. Uh, which is worth eight in production. Okay. Uh, we what? also, oh, do you want more information? No, yeah, it's a holy hand. Oh, hold hand. Uh, we've got also uh, a couple strategy cards, the Auburn Saloon, which is closed down. Uh, we've got Child Care, which is a couple minus twos, and then uh, Oil Boom, which is def- definitely an Alberta thing, uh, which will <laughs> boost companies with GP3 or 4 to 5. Okay, well. So none of this actually prevents <laughs> your... Uh, your demise here. No, it uh, doesn't. Not necessarily I demise. I don't mean to speak too soon. Uh, but, Mark, what is the value of your project currently? Uh, it is currently worth uh, seven. Okay. And, Ralph, you have zero, and you have no cards to respond, which means that seven communities are going to cross the floor to Mark. 
Yeah, we won. Go, Milton, go. 20, 20, 20, 20 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 33. I... That is the correct math. So, I... Uh, <laughs> so now it is the end of your turn, Mark. Uh, it is strategic planning. What do you wish to do? Uh, well, you've seen my cards now, so why don't we uh, use that ch child care? Uh, we offer child care during our show, thereby allowing parents to enjoy our art, plus two to our target communities. 30, 35. 35. And I think that's it. Uh, all right, so that means we're back over to Ralph's concept phase. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna put. Yeah, I'm just gonna pick up two. Oh, I'm gonna put away one card into the graveyard. I'm gonna pick up four. Nice. Cool. Great. You still got two really strong companies there, Ralph. So yeah, I see. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna add one company down for now. Green Thumb, uh, 1975. A uh, grant power of one to five. Okay. And then for now, I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll for uh, Pie Theater and Urban Ink. Oh, so, yeah, Pi Theater and Urban Ink. So I'll do Pi Theater first. Okay. And I need a one to a three. Got a one. one. Hey! One grant. And then I'm gonna add. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's not the most uh, 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 consistent of their work for Pi Theater, but they're gonna uh, start a new project that goes straight to project phase a little red, a uh, feeling good fairy tale about accepting puberty and smashing patriarchy from the inside out. Um, there are no matches to, to, to But they're branching out, I respect that. You know, it's different. It's a little, you know, different. Um, and it goes straight to project. And then I'm also okay, gonna, okay. actually, Before I'm gonna- Before we do that, are we gonna keep rolling or do you want to not- I would like to keep rolling questions? just one more okay. for my, I'm actually gonna go to green thumb instead. Okay. And, um, I need a one to a five. And I got a two. Yay, Grant. And with that, um, again, not a very aligned work, um, but uh, um, Green Thumb is going to do Touch Anywhere to Begin, a piece about con consent in the digital age. And it's going to go into um, in development phase. Oh, sorry, sorry, lies. I got a grant. It's going to go into the development <laughs> phase. These three grants. It needs three grants to get through. Um, and okay. there's no relation to the company, so it's just gonna be at a four right now. Okay. Um, and that's all I'm gonna do for now. For this round. For this, uh, okay. for this uh, yeah. But we are, your show is open, which means that you yep. must compete. Yes. In your production phase. Yes. So who of Mark's companies and projects are you going to target? Do you need so, a bit of a recap? Yes, musical chair. Mark? Yeah, musical chairs is currently worth uh, three. It's closed, but it can uh, reopen. It can but, reopen if you target. Oh, uh, if it. I reopen it, uh, it would be worth four. Okay. Uh, the right beside you, currently closed, is worth uh, six, and if I reopen it, it, will be worth seven. And haircuts by octogenarians is in development, currently worth four. Cool. Okay, I'd like to um, target uh, Alberta Ballet's work. Musical chairs? Sure. So do I roll to reopen it? Yes, this is now when you can see if you can remount your show. What do you need for that? We need evens. So we're hoping to remount musical chairs. Let's see. We are not remounting musical chairs. Okay. So it's closed. No one wants to see it. No one wants to see it. It's upsetting. So so it's Dang still it. being targeted, which means that uh, it has a value of what, Mark? Uh, it has a value of three. Okay. Minus and Ralph, two. What do you, you get to lead the competition by adding value or subtracting okay. it from your content. I'm going to add a little red. I got an inter international tour. Your project is earning international favor, which makes you a significant cultural expert. Export. Export. <laughs> so plus 10. Who knew? Pie Theater, taking a little risk on something different. So that's a 12. 
against your three. Okay, wow. Uh, which means that, Mark, you gotta claw your way back out. What are you gonna do? Ooh, what was its original worth before you put that down? Two. He's checking his trap. He's checking his trap card. He's checking his trap card. Okay. I don't know if this is smart or not, because I don't know if this impacts just the base score or any uh, points it's gained since then. Well, let's find out. Find out. For let's those watching, play. these cards have never been played against each other because <laughs> there are some new decks involved. Uh, All right, so well, you've fallen out. into a trap here, uh, Ralph. Uh, your show is objectively bad. It's really surprisingly bad, uh, which reduces the target project's value to one. Ah. At this point, the current value of the project is reduced to one. Okay. That's so what it's that 11 means. Still. So it, no, sorry, the current, the, the value of the show overall, oh, Milton? Great. Yes, that's correct. That is correct. So the, the current difference is now three to one. Great. Makes sense? I am pleased that I played that. Okay. Wow. But, Interesting. Uh, Ralph, you still get to respond unless Mark was going to do anything else? I have nothing else to do. Well, now that you've told Ralph that you have nothing else to do. Uh... <laughs> I mean, this turn, this turn. <laughs> so Ralph, how do you want to respond? Uh, I have nothing. <gasps> no, Tajik. Which means we have a two point difference and two of Ralph's communities are going to head over 20, to- 2011. It's a real shame. It's a real shame that it got international to tour, despite being objectively bad. You know what? Yeah. The number of times something that is objectively bad goes on international tour, it happens. And that's, my last, yeah. that's actually my last project for Pi Theater, so they are also going to oh, go. Oh, farewell Pi Theater. Pi Theater. Ralph, You're I thought bad. you were about to actually say, that's actually what my last tour with so and so. <laughs> <laughs> I was nope, like, nope. no, well, I mean, this is what it's about, right? <laughs> Great. Great. So, uh, Mark, it is strategic planning. Uh, Isn't it did Ralph's I strategic it? planning? No, that was your... That was, your oh, that was on defense. That was, that was, you were on defense. Yeah. This was, uh, yeah, thank you very much. Uh, Ralph, it's your strategic planning. Yep. Um, uh, I'm gonna... What am I gonna do? I'm just gonna use one of my um, orange cards uh, just to help out one of my companies for later. Uh, sacrifice a company to increase another company's GP by one level. So I'm actually gonna sacrifice my urban ink to increase my green thumb to get a straight grant. Great. Next round. And I believe, could you just tell us what that card is called? Chasing Toronto. One of your peers has moved away. Now there's more money. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. I was wondering how that happened, but yeah, going to Toronto makes sense. Uh, At least from Calgary. So which means now, uh, Ralph, that project, uh, that company that you have has a six. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Wicked. Uh, so that's the end <laughs> of your turn. Great. Uh, which means that we're back over to Mark for your concept phase. Great. Uh, before that, actually, I have mixed feelings to announce that we're experiencing an oil boom. Uh, so what that means, it's basically raining money. Uh, all companies with a GP3 or GP4 become companies with a GP5 for the rest of the game or until an oil bust is played. This may not uh, ring true for anyone watching from outside of Alberta, but it's kind of how... It's also, by the way, guys, a nice touch that the GP1 and 2 companies don't get any benefit because that's also <laughs> how it really works. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, an oil boom are... and it is beneficial to those who can get donors. So that would we'll stay on for this whole round then because I don't have a card like that on my for the end, whole right? game, presumably. Wow. So that means that we are in an oil boom for the rest of the game, possibly. For just for just and... for just his card. Nope, right? that's for everyone. Oh Everybody. Apparently the oil boom is is uh, supporting mid-sized companies. Over. To be fair, to be fair, it does have a trickle out effect at times. True. Uh, so supposedly, supposedly yeah. Um, 
And again, as we play in this mythological space where oil, Alberta could have an oil boom when it's... They could yeah, right now. we're not uh, likely but, to have another one. Uh, here we so go. I'm going to uh, hold on to both of these cards and draw five more. Okay. Uh, four, five. All right, what's going on here? This is the gripping part for the audience at home as I like try to understand what's in my deck. <laughs> What's he got in his hand? <laughs> uh, um, while you're waiting, I'll, I'll offer if anyone wants to screenshot this, I, my space is ready for being keyed out. So ooh. if you like floating arms and a head and uh, feel free to do that. Or fill Maybe your room too. with cats. <laughs> <laughs> or I could wear a cat um, in my head. Great, I'm just gonna start rolling for for some grants. All right, who are you rolling for, Mark? Uh, these two both have shows closed, so let's uh, roll for Northern Light. It needs a one, two, or a three. Well, hold on, it's oh, an oil boom. or a five. Anything so, up to five. Anything up to five. Let's not roll a six, Northern Light. This is your chance. You did it! And that actually really benefited. It got a four. So bravo, Northern Light, and thank you, sweet, sweet oil money. Uh, and MT7 is hoping to, they were usually a four, now they're a five. Uh, they're hoping to get a grant for haircuts by octogenarians. And they did! They got a two, but still can't open because it takes three grants. Uh, Northern Light is going to... This, un- this could be dangerous. This could be dangerous. I just wanted un- to say that. Uncharacteristically, uh, Northern Light is going to put on a cold read, a series of impromptu monologues by performers of all different abilities and backgrounds, all trying to convince you that it's colder where they come from than where you come from. Uh, it has, when it's, it needs three grants, and it is accessibility and Canadian. Okay. Does Northern Light do Canadian work? Is that what their specialty is? No, their specialty is traditional. Okay, I see. Traditional Canadian? No. All right, so are you going to reopen any of your projects? Yeah, let's see if we can reopen uh, musical chairs. Uh, I would need to roll evens to... This has been trying to get off the ground for a while, so let's see if we can get it back open. After its initial four-night run. That's right. They really want to do it again. And they're still not doing it again. Uh, the right beside you would like to reopen, and it needs odds. And I got them! So the right beside you has reopened. Which means that we are in a competition once again with the right beside you. Actually, Clearly a very before, potent show. Oh. <laughs> What's before that? you go on, that you just finished your application phase, correct? Uh, <gasps> <gasps> yes, he did. <laughs> What's he got? Y'all not even ready. Y'all not ready for this? This is the I best part. I am. Y'all, not, y'all be sleeping on me. Um, at the end of your opponent's application phase, play this card to make them justify how each of their projects promote decolonial practices. You be the judge. Each project they fail to conceive you loses one grant. It was worth it. All right, which means that- Four projects. You're in the hot seat, Mark. You gotta convince Ralph of the decolonial value of your four projects. You can choose in any order that you wish to do so. Well, let's just go left to right. Uh, (laughs) Oh, he's eating. That's lovely. Uh, Alberta Ballet has been trying to remount musical chairs for good reason. As you recall, uh, this is dealing with uh, the legacy of racial segregation in the United States. Uh, And we can't meaningfully tackle our colonial history unless we acknowledge the dark and tragic history of slavery in the States and in Canada. Uh, And so this show is a site-specific social theater where performers take and give up seats. And it really puts the audience uh, in the seat, in the shoes of of these people that uh, have their rights taken away by colonial practices. Yeah, no. That is a tough oh. jury. Uh, it's it's so, unfortunate that there's not a more, you know, efficient or <laughs> way of determining the value of art. Uh, jury of your on. peers, right? 
so that that means Alberta Ballet loses a grant, yes? Loses a grant, mm -hmm. and if your show now is not fully funded, it reverts to in development. Oh, they're just really banking on this show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So moving on to Azimuth Theaters, the right beside you. As you know, Azimuth Theater is deeply committed to decolonial practice. This show. Like, it's right in the description, a show about how the person beside you might not think you deserve basic human rights. That is colonialism in action. Uh, the entire practice of colonialism relies on dehumanizing the people that, uh, that have been the, 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 the stewards of land for time immemorial. It relies on uh, the colonizers treating humans as animals as slaves and uh and so therefore this show will go a long way in azimuth's ongoing decolonial journey you know what I'll, I'll i'll say okay to that you can keep the grant azimuth thanks you what a generous generous jury uh next up <laughs> Moving into Northern Light Theatre's A Cold Read. Uh, as you recall, a series of impromptu monologues by performers of all different abilities and backgrounds, all trying to convince you that it's colder where they come from than when, where you come from. Uh, Northern Light Theatre doesn't want to, like, they're not trying to tokenize their performers. They don't mention in their write-up here that uh, the main creators of this project are, of course, Inui uh, performers who uh, are working with artists from uh, various other cold climes, Siberia, and the indigenous artists, indigenous peoples of various northern climes around the world. So while audiences might think they're showing up for, uh, you know, a fun, impromptu, improv night, uh, they will get that, but they're also going to be hearing from the original peoples of the north. Yeah, I think you, the company should explicitly say um, the, the, the peoples that are, are being a part of this project. So unfortunately, if it's not part of the the main headline or the topic point, I feel um, they, they shouldn't get the grant. No, that's fair. They should really be uh, more more forward about uh, who yeah. they're working with. So they have lost their only grant. So what does that do to the cold read? That means that the cold read goes back into your hand. Back into just somewhere in my hand? Or my hand. Your hand, not your deck, your hand. My hand, very good. It will reemerge, finally. <laughs> With more specificity, cultural <laughs> specificity. So, Mark, that was a, that, that was a, I would see that show, the one that you described. Great, great, yeah. Me too. <laughs> I hope someone does it. <laughs> are people allowed, like, if there's artists listening that are really like, I want to do that, like, do they just have to give Culture Capital a... All right, here we go. <laughs> I hope they would give us a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> so the answer is yes. People can do shows if they want, just let us know. We have some really funny and cool projects that we've created for this game. Um, and we see a lot of them. So if you do it, please let us know so we can see it. And also submit the video archival to uh, our other project called Video Can. But more on that later. Patrick, anything else? Yes. You want nope. to shout out? I just want to know what the fourth uh, fourth project that Mark is on before he loses steam. Here we yeah, go. Thanks for giving me some time to think there. Uh, this is uh, Making Treaty 7's show. I just want to point that out, an indigenous organization. Uh, it is haircuts by octogenarians. They've been cutting hair for longer than you've been alive, a performance, a dance, they'll talk your ear off. So being an indigenous-centered organization, of course, the, uh, the elders that are part of this, uh, the octogenarians in question, uh, are from all of the different nations of the Treaty 7 region. So we're seeing Sixtaka, Ganai, Sutina, Etc. And uh, why? So when they're saying they're talking your ear off, you're, the the audiences for this are getting a haircut, but they're also getting a living history, a living history of the residential schools, a living history uh, of the the original inhabitants of the land on which they are getting their haircut. So deeply decolonial. Yeah, I think that grant like that you applied for just sounds like the piece doesn't sound like it correlates to the. The, the values of indigenous folk um, knowing their hair culture and the need to preserve their hair. So it doesn't, doesn't feel right. So you're gonna get, you're gonna lose another grant. Oh, that's great. So Making Treaty 7, an indigenous organization is being told by some anonymous jury that their show is not indigenous enough. That's really classic. <laughs> in Canada, in Canada, it can happen. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that concludes my uh, decolonial practices. 
Uh, well done, uh, well tried, uh, well jured, uh, Ralph. And now remind me, where are we in this? Uh, I believe it's actually you're on, still on the offense, Mark, because I, uh, the one show that you had open like was it. the one show that Ralph <laughs> actually let through. And I don't know uh, why I did that, but you know. So, you know, juries don't always have the most foresight. Um, <laughs> as to like what's coming I thought the card important. was actually flipped, so it was very confused. I was confused. <laughs> so uh, the crowd is cheering and waiting. Uh, <laughs> what is, uh, what's the competition? Uh, the right beside you uh, by Azimuth Theater uh, yeah. is worth four in production, but because it is political and that is Azimuth's specialty, it is worth eight in competition. Uh, and I guess it's going up against uh, um, touch, touch anywhere to begin. Okay, and uh, what's unfortunate about uh, for touch anywhere to begin um, is IATSE, which of course is the uh, local labor union in uh, Alberta. The venue you booked has joined the IATSE labor union, and now your technicians are much more expensive. Their new wages come out of the set design budget, and it shows. So that's a minus two to that target project. Minus two. So the current standing is, what have you got? Uh, we have two and eight. Two and eight. OK. Oh, and actually, uh, seven, sorry. Seven. Yeah. Seven for Mark, two for Ralph. Ralph, how are you going to respond? Um, I have nothing to respond. <laughs> Tragic. So, which means that uh, there's no more response, and two against seven, which means that five communities. 30, 30, 40, 40, 40, 40, 42. So Alberta. Yeah. I guess that show really? is now closed. Will we look back on this and blame the jury? Uh, <laughs> no. We'll find out. We'll find out in four months' time who was on the jury, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna get some nasty emails. Be but no, cool actually, period. we'll be thrilled. Uh, all right, so which green, means... green Thumb has a project limit of three, so I have two more left for a Green Thumb. Okay, now Mark, that was the end of your turn. Did you have any strategic planning that needed to be done? Uh, yeah, we're going to lay a trap. Another one right there. Uh, um, and, oh, this is mean, but... Uh, Auburn Saloon. So this is a very Calgary-specific card. Uh, the local bar has closed down, and now there's nowhere, Ralph, to hang out after your shows. So that's a minus two to your target. Minus two. Ooh. You know, for someone in Vancouver, Five, though, where there isn't a local bar <laughs> anyway for people to go to after a show. Whoa, Shane. <laughs> what? Do you think there is? Name one. There is. Which is the bar that we all should go to after every show that we go to see. After the Ed Dancing on the Edge, everyone goes to um, the Alibi Room. Oh, yeah. OK, but that's after Dancing on the Edge. All right, we, this is this is like a regional. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> alibi Room's great. Okay. Even Mark Even knows. Marco. Even Mark knows. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> so that's the end of Mark's turn, and we're back over to Ralph. <sighs> Dang it. You can still do it, Ralph. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put one grant, one card uh, in my uh, graveyard. I'm gonna pick up six. The jury was really, yeah, bad. Um, <laughs> okay, so. I'm gonna put uh, real wheels, real wheels, real, real, real wheels, real wheels uh, theater. It's established in 2003. Um, and I'm also gonna roll for a, for both real wheels and green thumb. And now the green thumb is actually still has the Toronto um, card under it. It's up to a six, so it gets on automatic grants. So I'm gonna put that there already. Correct. Yep. Correct. And now yep. the oil boom is still in effect. That's so, right. And so that so I have up to five for because I have you three actually for real have a five. Wheels. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So you need to one to five. I got a five. Can you see it? Hey. Uh, that is terrific. But we've been talking a lot about bad grand juries, and I'm afraid you had one. 
Oh. So that they thought your project was niche and divisive. I don't even know what project they were talking about. Uh, so that means I, this is a weird, terrible grant jury. I steal one grant from my opponent. Cool. Where would you like to steal it from? <laughs> oh, I guess the one I, that you just put down. <laughs> okay. Be more specific, Mark. That one. All right, great. Okay. Which means that I'm... Well, it tr magically travels from <laughs> Vancouver. <laughs> to Teleportation is real. It changes color, and Mark, it's federal it funding. Up. It's federal funding. <laughs> so it lands on okay. which okay. of your uh, projects, Mark? Uh, it's going to uh, restore <laughs> the maligned grant to uh, haircuts by octogenarians. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, we're um, back over though in Vancouver, yeah. Ralph. In order to keep that money, you need to play a project right now, and then you can keep it. Yep. Going. I actually would like to um, uh, uh, put a, an orange card down that I have, uh, ah. the secret fund. Ooh. OK. Uh, funding body selected uh, certain companies to apply for their secret fund. It's not a secret. People just don't talk about it. Uh, award three grants to each company you have in play, and at the end of your turn, return unused grants to companies wow. and from those without a project. What is going so, on with these grant juries? Adding three here, three here. Adding three here, three here. And I'm going to put two new projects for both companies. So uh, for real wheels, I'm going to put uh, the last straw. Uh, from the ban of plastic straws to the hate on comic stand, so comic sans, this show is a look at ableism and the things we take for granted. It's on automatic project for six, and since it's real wheels and uh, this show are both accessibility, um, okay. it's at a value of uh, eight. Okay. And then Fully I'm also open. gonna, and then I'm also gonna add something for green thumb. Um, uh, yeah, um, not not very common for Green Thumb, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna put uh, a, an indigenous work, uh, a, a 1759, an epic retelling of the Plains of Abraham. Uh, no relation to the company, um, so just gonna be a two in value. And that's all, and, and yeah, yay. Okay. <laughs> Which means that we are in a competition. Mm -hmm. And you get to pick which of your projects will compete against which of Mark's projects first. I'll compete with uh, Ballet Edmonton again. Alberta Ballet? I'm going to do uh, my the Alberta last Ballet. straw. OK. So what is Where the value of the last straw? Yeah. Uh, what is yeah, its value? Oh, my, my value? Uh, it's on uh, eight. It's an eight. Uh, and Alberta Ballet uh, Musical Chairs, this poor show, in back in development, is only worth two. Okay. Eight to two, which means that, Ralph, you get to lead this competition. You can add value or take it away from your opponent, or you can defer. Um, I will defer. Okay, which means that uh, two serving eight. Mark, what are you going to do? Well, Musical Chairs, you know this is a great project. We've been really, like, telling you for now a couple seasons this is a worthwhile project. <laughs> and another reason that you should support Musical Chairs is that it has an all-female cast. The future is female, and Alberta Ballet gets it. So that is worth plus eight to Musical Chairs. Unlike like this show. It is a 10 to an eight, eight serving 10. Ralph. What have you got that is better than an all-female, site-specific musical chairs on a bus ballet show by a bunch of wow. ballet dancers? Well, with all of that amazing uh, 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 diversity in the company, um, a performer broke their leg in one of the <laughs> on shows. The oh, I ran no. over by the bus. No! Oh. And you didn't really have insurance, so you're in trouble. Minus six. Oh, Alberta Ballet, you should have gotten insurance. All right, that means that we are think at they would. Four, think they would. four to eight. Mark, four serving eight. What do you got? You know what? Can you soup up this show just a <laughs> little bit more? I think Alberta Ballet has tried everything. We're going to have to face reality. Musical chairs is just not resonating with communities in the way we thought it would. No. 
It could have gone the whole game. <laughs> All right, so it's dead, right? It is dead. Which means that four communities are going to go from Calgary back to Vancouver. Fun. Fun. Six. 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 And uh, congratulations, Ralph. And, Thank you. and I still have one more project. Yes, you do. So you can choose another of Mark's projects to compete Mark, with. Mark, can you um, recap again, please? I'd be delighted to. We have Asthma Theater, the right beside you, which is currently worth at six in its closed state. And Making Treaty 7's Haircuts by Octogenarians, uh, currently worth four in development. What are they worth all in the project phase if you do get uh... I, I can reopen the right beside you, Sorry. and at that point it would be worth seven. Okay, and then the other one? Uh, yeah, I can't reopen that one. It's okay. development. Okay. Cool. I, can't, I have yeah, to open it do, first. Let's do the right beside you, right beside you. That's um, yes. great. So I will, <laughs> let's roll odds to reopen the right beside you. We did not. It remains closed. Okay. So it's a two is what you have, Ralph. Is that right? Yeah. Two to a six. Correct. Uh, what do you got? I'm gonna, I'm gonna do uh, uh, plus eight for uh, all queer cast uh, for my work. So right. they were so somehow with all the, <laughs> with everything against them. Uh, Green Thumb, an accessible, accessibility TYA company, uh, is is having this new work, this indigenous uh, work, uh, with an all queer cast. So now it's at a value of uh, ten. Okay. 10 to 6, 6 serving 10. Mark, uh, what, what what do you got? That sounds like such an incredible project, which is why this really surprises me, this trap that you've fallen into. Space for three? Having only two wheelchair spots in your 600-person theater is deplorable. That's a minus 10 to that project. <gasps> Come on, accessibility is one of the priorities over there. Which means that it's zero to six. six. Zero okay. serving six. Ralph. I will just to alleviate some of the, 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 the loss. Uh, um, it, it is going to be, we also added, for some reason, last minute, uh, supporting the next, gener next generation of artists. Uh, so we have a youth engagement, <laughs> plus four. Ah, some just youth stuff. engagement. Very good, yes. That's great, um, that's great. Very uh, cohesive, which, but still not as strong as your uh, your current uh, project. Which means that we are at four to six. Mm -hmm. Mark, you can respond any way you wish at this point. I shall not. You shall not, which means that we have a two-point difference. Two more points going back to Calgary. 30 to 40. Or 40 to six. Like and really that closes uh, my project. I'm gonna go into my little graveyard. Okay. Go I have one more project for uh, Green Thumb. Okay. And it's the end of your turn, Ralph. So what? Uh, do you have any strategy that you want to lay down, thinking about uh, the future? No, I do not. You've been holding on here very well, so. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I, uh, what I'm known for. Just sticking the rest. <laughs> Stick it around. Uh, Mark, it's your concept phase. Uh, great, I'm going to hold on to these two and draw five more. Okay, bear with me. Great, great, great. Uh, so, joining this wonderful roster, we have Lunchbox Theatre, established 1975. Uh, they do traditional Canadian work with a grant power of three, but because it's an oil boom, and fun fact until, oh, they just had to close their venue. That was really sad. COVID-19 affects us all. But it was in the Calgary Tower uh, complex. Is it closed, closed? Uh, they, they, I read the email. I think they're keeping their rehearsal space, but they're moving out of the theatre, which is... Very, very sad. Hopefully someone takes it over. Someone watching can take it over. And also the the, the Globe Theater in my neighborhood. There's oh, a no. lot going on. Um, Isn't Lunchbox looking for a new AD? Or is that a different company? Also looking for a new AD. So it could be you, Watchers. Yep. Yeah, Sherry uh, Watling has just moved on. Well, let's find out what the new Lunchbox Theater's <laughs> first show is going to be. Possibly. Yeah. 
Uh, make their comeback. So, uh, what are we going to do here? We're going to start rolling for applications. Applying for grants. Rolling for, anyway, we're in our application phase. I'm uh, going to start with Alberta Ballet. Hey, they got a grant. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> They're trying again after uh, musical watch, chairs. Watch somehow you have a card that allows you to bring back musical chairs. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be incredible? <laughs> Those cards do exist, so. We believe in that show. <laughs> uh, this is waiting to be reopened. Uh, Northern Light needs, well, because Oil Boom needs one, two, five. And got it. Congratulations, Northern Light. Making Treaty 7, also benefiting from the oil boom. Weird like complex interest. taking place but... in the 80s or something. Yeah, uh... seriously. <laughs> yeah, with apparently... Oh, there were indigenous theater companies in the 80s in Calgary. So yeah, that tracks. Um, so yeah, needs one to five. And received it. And so finally, they can open the haircuts by octogenarians. Uh, and actually, Azimuth... Oh, we're, now we're rolling. Oh, it's so a lunchbox theater. We're finding out what's happening with lunchbox theater. So it also needs a one through a five. It goes six. Ooh. Lunchbox just cannot catch a break. Uh, so Alberta Ballet needs to put something on. Uh, they are going to put on MailChimp. This is their final shot at really bringing communities on board. So Charles. Being relevant. <laughs> Charles the Chimp awakens to find that he is now an endangered species. This is one monkey's heroic quest to find a mate by emailing everyone. High five! Uh, it is traditional and nostalgic, which, believe it or not, is uh, this is very much in you know, the ballet's uh, wheelhouse. They specialize in traditional and nostalgic work. Which is a so, double plus. It's a double, a double bonus. Plus. Plus. <laughs> so uh, it is still in development, uh, which would be worth two, but is worth four because it gets those two extra points great remarkable alberta ballet just uh hanging in there um i can imagine them like adapting nutcracker rat costumes to be monkey costumes for mailchimp absolutely <laughs> uh and Northern... longer tails <laughs> taking them brown or something uh northern light theater uh is going to put on as you liked it a production of As You Like It set in the Beatles era. This would have been very difficult to defend in decolonial fashion. <laughs> uh, so this is traditional nostalgic. They specialize in traditional, so it can open right away because it only needs the one grant. Uh, and with the bonus is worth four. So I got two shows open. Okay. So how do you want to start? Let's start with As You Liked It, uh, the production of As You Like It by Northern Lights Theatre. It is worth four. And let's just, let, oh wait, what, what are you at right now? We got one project in uh, its close, and it's a value of four close. But I have the option to roll, and I need uh, uh, to reopen, it would need uh, an odd. Oh shit. All right. So actually it would be a very bad idea to put As You Liked It against that, but I feel like I've committed to that already, so let's do it. Which means that, uh, Ralph, roll away. You want to roll to reopen, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got a three. Which means you can reopen. Yeah. Northern Light, this was really bad planning on your part. So our current so because, standoff is? And also because it's a, they're both accessibility, it's actually a value of 10 in project. <laughs> Wow, probably should have told your opponent that, but that's great. Ooh, Here we go. So great. it is a 10. It's a 10. And Mark, you have a... Uh, we've got a 4. Cool. Uh, how's that going to go for you? Well, we have no defenses, so poorly. <laughs> okay, which means that uh, there's... Uh, if you, you've you deferred... Uh, to Ralph, which means that Ralph, you get to still play a strategy. Since uh, am I correct? We didn't do any. Okay, so that means that that is the end of this uh, competition. Ooh, and it's ten to four, six points are going back to Vancouver. Hanging in there, y'all. <laughs> yeah, this is a uh... go BC. Hey. <laughs> Your, your, your aunt is also watching, out. I think. <laughs> Who is? My aunt's watching. Hi, your aunt. aunt. My aunt. She's in Ontario. 
That's uh, next. But we still have uh, haircuts by octogenarians, uh, okay. which is worth eight in production. So sorry, just really quick question. Do I go back to closing? I go back to closing for this project, right? Because it closes again? That is correct. You go back okay. to close. Sorry, so we're... Go ahead, Mark. Uh, so haircuts by octogenarians worth eight is going up against that show. Again, right? last straw? Yes. Which so means I need another now... odd. Yes, that is true. Okay. You can roll to reopen. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. It's a five. five. This round was started off so well. Again, back at 10. So what is our score? Uh, uh, ten. Eight. Eight to a 10? Mark, you get to lead. <laughs> do I? You do, you have that privilege. If only I could. We're gonna oh. let that uh, eight to 10 ride. Which means that we're back over to Ralph. Ralph, do you wanna respond? Nothing. Mm -hmm. Which means that two points are also going back. 30, 32. This is a uh, really good show. They really killed oh, it. Oh, yeah. And you know what? I forgot to plug my computer in, so why don't you bask in that <laughs> while I grab my power cord? <laughs> it's um, still, it's well, still marked well, strategic planning, I'm pretty still sure, though. Turn, technically, yeah. Uh, so, but we can admire the nice chair that he. Oh, let's do it. Has. Well, look at that. <laughs> Are you zooming in on this? I am. <laughs> uh, oh, just the top of it? <laughs> that like kind of wicker, or not wicker, but that pattern. Rattan. It, it must Rattan. be, I mean, I don't know how much it would be valued on Antique Roadshow. But, uh... <laughs> Mark, where'd you get your chair? Where'd I get my chair? Uh, yeah. Ooh, from... I think a buddy moved into a house and it was in the house. Sounds like it. Uh, okay, which means it's your strategic planning and you're thinking about the future. Uh, I hope you're happy that just destroyed making Treaty 7. So Treaty 7 has gone. The one indigenous theater company in Calgary that I'm up. No, Article 11's here too. Never mind. There's <laughs> other <laughs> options. Uh, you know, I'm going to lick my wounds and not engage in strategic planning. Okay, precarious. Uh, let's Great. go back to Ralph. Wow. Well, I'm going to put my last card I had in my hand into the graveyard. Okay. I'm gonna pick up seven fresh cards. Woo! Yo, I'm feeling really good right now. <laughs> 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 ah, okay. So, I got really sad for a second, y'all. Like, I was really <laughs> going through it. And then... That's how I felt last round. It was started out so well and then went so, so poorly. Right? What do you got, Ralph? Uh, okay, what do I have? What do I have? Um, I have some projects. I got some cool strategy cards. Good cool. Stuff. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna roll to open my last draw again, right? Cause I, it's closed, but I'm gonna open it again. Yes, can but uh, can you please yes, apply for grants first? Yeah, sure. I'll apply for a grant for Green Thumb, and I need. Uh, it still has the Toronto's the, the Toronto card with it, so it's a six. Okay. Um, so I, need, I get a grant automatically. What am I doing? Yes, you do. <laughs> you're rubbing it in, is what you're doing. Yeah, I'm just rubbing <laughs> it in. That. And um, with that, I'm also gonna I'm also gonna add a project with theirs. Um, not common for accessibility TOA for Green Thumb, um, but it's a piece called "I'm Gay and Dying of Cancer," a new show by Daniel Mc McVar McVar. Okay. Um, and it needs uh, two grants for it to open, so it's going to be in development for three, and no, re no, uh, no relation or parallels to the company, but so there's no pluses, so it's just a three. Um, and then I'm going to try to uh, reopen uh, the last straw. Okay. Correct. Right? Yeah. Yes. So I'm going to. You... I need an odd. Ooh, can you get three out of three? That would be upsetting. If oh you my did. god. I got a one. You got uh, a one. Why did Alberta Ballet have this kind of luck with musical chairs? You know why, Mark. You know why. <laughs> so now I have it. It's a, again back in a 10. Uh, and could you, sorry, we kept again. Sorry, I can't. I have very no, short No, no, quite right. all right. Uh, we've got MailChimp in development of Alberta Ballet. Uh, they just keep trying, and it is currently worth a four. Uh, and that is where it will stand. And uh, as in the theater has closed right beside you, it closed, it is worth six. Uh, if we succeeded in reopening it, it is worth seven. 
Okay, I'm gonna target uh, uh, Alberta Ballet again, please. Yep. So, would you like to open? Oh, reopen? Don't... Doesn't he start? Oh, do I reopen? No, I can't no, reopen. You it's need in to decide if you want to reopen. It's in development, so we cannot. Oh, sorry. Oh, yes. open first. Yeah. So, I think it's your so, attack, right? So, you are not reopening your show? It wasn't open it's in the in first development. place. It's in development, sorry. Oh, it's, sorry, it was in development, I understand. Yeah. So, which means that, yes, your show is open, Ralph. His show is in development. Uh, you get to lead the competition. How do you want to add or subtract the current situation? Right now, what's the value again in the... In, in development, it is currently worth four. Okay, I'm not going to do anything at this moment. So it's off back to Mark. And Alberta Ballet is so dispirited by the loss of uh, musical chairs, it's not going to do anything either. Which means that is the end of this competition. The final standing was 10 uh, for Ralph. 10 for four. 10 for four, which means six more points. Are we going to be back in the 20s? Oh, man. 50, 50, 50, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, uh, now that is the uh, end of your production phase, Ralph, which means you're in strategic planning. Yep. What's up? Um, so it stayed open, but I, since I battled, it closes again, right? The last drop? That is true. Yep. Great. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna use a... Oh, no. Can I use it? I'm going to add a trap. Who lies? I'm going to add a trap here. Just kidding. Uh, and then... Card... <laughs> Sorry? Oh, I can't do that yet. Sorry. A card laid is a card played. Oh. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So the trap that you laid is down. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. That's um. Okay. And that's so all you... I'm gonna do for now. Okay. Because after you lay one trap, you still have available to you anything that's gray or orange. Nope. I'm good. Okay. Well, that is the end of your turn, Ralph, and we are back to Calgary. All right, Calgary. With... Holding on to, thank you, these four cards and drawing three more. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, so we have a couple of new companies to, you know, Making Treaty 7 and Alberta Ballet have left us, but uh, Workshop West Playwrights Theatre, uh, established 1978, specializing in Canadian work is uh, sort of stepping into the gap that they've left. Also and, benefiting uh, from the oil boom. That's right, that's right. And uh, you may have heard of this one. It's known as Swallow a Bicycle Theater. Oh! No. Unfortunately uh, not benefiting from the oil boom. <laughs> no, and that's also painfully accurate. Uh, so it is uh, established 2006. I remember that. And uh, specializes <laughs> in accessibility and political theater. So that goes over here. So back to five companies, huzzah. Um, doo -doo -doo. Great. I'm forgetting some, uh, some money, Mark. Try to get some money to, to, yeah. I've lost my healthy lead and I'd like to get it back, please. So we're rolling for <laughs> Workshop West and it uh, grant power of five, thanks to that oil boom. And roll the three, way to go, Workshop West. Money. We'll come back to you, Northern Light Theater, also benefiting from the oil boom. And got a grant. Would have gotten a grant anyway. So no thanks to you, oil companies. Uh, Lunchbox Theater, also benefiting from the oil boom. See if they roll another six. That would be amazing. They rolled a one. Hey. The grant for Lunchbox Theater and Swallow Bicycle does not benefit from the oil boom. Really needed the one that Lunchbox Theater just rolled. Did not get it, got a six. Got a six. <laughs> also rings alarmingly true. Um... Do, do, do. So, uh, we're going to... Who's putting on what? Uh, Workshop West is going to, to develop a show called A Cold Read. Wait a second. Wait. Didn't we do this one already? Oh, no. Yes, we... We... Oh, it got sent back to your hand. It went sent back to yes, your hand. Yes, yeah. that's nice. right. I forgot about that. I was very confused. So you know this one. We've defended this one. It has de decolonial value that was not recognized by a jury. Uh, Workshop West recognized that value and is picking it up. So, uh... Person's trash? Is... No. <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly. Another person's trash? 
So uh, it is in development, uh, needs two more grants, but uh, because it is Canadian content, uh, it's in development score of four gets a boost of two for a total of six. Uh, Northern Light Theater is going to develop Just Ogle Me, a show about a politician's son who deceived a generation. Uh, it is needs three grants, political and critique, which is outside of Northern Light's usual purview, so it does not get any extra points to its four. Uh, Lunchbox Theater is going to develop uh, Post Canada. Uh, they recognize with the collapse of Making Treaty 7, there's a need for more Indigenous Canadian work. This is an Indigenous futurist tale about what happens when all the settlers get sent back to where they come from. So it's in a long development period, needs three grants. But because it's Canadian, its uh, development score of four is worth uh, six. Okay, that's and I guess set up. Yeah, now we're just rolling to see if we can reopen uh, the right beside you. It has in the theater, which is still here. Uh, still so here, Canadian. remarkably. Oh. Uh, so we have to roll odds to reopen it. I've got a lot of like long shows run for a long time ago, <laughs> which is not my experience. But uh, <laughs> yeah, let's see. We need odds to reopen. We got odds! Hooray for a five! So, the right beside you, remounted. Which uh, means that you must choose who you are in competition with. Can you remind me of their scores? Yep, so right now, um, <clears throat> I'm Gay and Dying of Cancer is in the development of the three. Um, and the last straw is currently closed with a value of four, but I have the option to reopen. But wait, it, doesn't it become like a it huge It becomes score? a ten. So, sorry, sorry. It's it actually a ten. A so when it's in development, it's a six. Yeah, six, so we're going to go against the teensy one. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, what was that project called again? Uh, it's a uh, I'm Gay and Dying of Cancer. Oh, I hope that show succeeds, but I also hope it doesn't. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> uh, my score of... Uh, seven. Uh, I'm just going to let that stand for the moment. Okay, Ralph. Okay. Do you want to add anything to your score? Um, or take from... You I'm have a trap add, as well? Uh, sorry, sorry, your current number is a seven? A seven, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm going to add, I actually... We have a all indigenous cash. The future is indigenous, so we get a plus eight. To add Good on for to them. The, um, That's great. A development. So your current score is? Yeah. So the current score is the three plus eight is eleven. Okay. And Mark, you've got a seven. Is that correct? Uh, I've got a seven. That's correct. Seven serving eleven. Uh, but uh, how do you want to? How do you want to respond? I'm afraid we have no response. But in the face of this bad news, there's also some good news for Asthma Theater. Uh, oh wait. No, it's just all bad news. <laughs> All bad Brutal. news for us in the theater. Which means that there is a four-point exchange that is going to take place now. 20, 20, 20, 24. And wow. Ralph oh. takes the lead. Ooh. Uh, Asthma Theater loses the long-standing right, right beside, beside you. you. And despondent at that loss, the company has actually <laughs> decided to call it quits. All in it quits. And my strategy uh, card here goes to the graveyard, correct? That is yes. correct, yes. Thank you. And we're so, still development. Mark, it. Uh, I don't think you have anything else that can be opened, which means you're in strategic planning. That is correct. Um, quite the comeback. You know, it's uh, really served me well to not strategic plan up to this point, so I'm going to just keep going with that. Okay, okay, great. Which means that, Ralph, it's your concept phase. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, before uh, I'm gonna put uh, a new company, uh, the Frank Theater, uh, established in 1996. There, and they are a queer, they're a queer um, organization. Uh, and I'm gonna, so I'm gonna first, I'm gonna try to get a grant for Frank. So because of the oil boom that has spilled over to Vancouver. Wait, is it a three um, or is it a one or a two? It's oh, it's a, it's a it's, it doesn't have any um, relation to the oil. Oh no! <laughs> so I'm <laughs> gonna look for one or two. Oil money. Yeah, so it's a it's you know, queer queer organizations are trying to get out of that. You know, I respect it. I, I certainly really don't want. It. So I need a one or a two. Well, give me a one or a two. A one or a two. It's oh. a one. It's a one. Hey, oh. I got a one. Where? That's okay, what Swallow Bicycle needs. Sorry. That's what Swallow Bicycle needs. <laughs> 
So, um, and I will add a, add a project to that one as well. Okay. Uh, so, oh, one woman, Lord of the Rings. Uh, <laughs> 3,600 seconds of unbelievable kinetic entertainment from a local fringe legend, an international sensation. It's absolutely precious. It's traditional feminist, um, not entirely in line, um, but it goes straight to project face. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, straight to, uh, yeah, project face. And, uh, but before we do that, let's continue with our grant application season. Do you have any yeah. other companies right. that you want to apply for? I also want to, um, I'm going to try to get a grant for I am gay. Oh, wait, they get ready to get an automatic grant because they have six. So now that is open. And I will, uh, I'll re, I'll, I'll try to, you know, I'm good. That, uh, that's all I'll do for now. Okay, which means we've got two projects ready to compete. So, uh, but does that mean that's the end of your, uh, your application phase? That is oh, the yes. end of his application phase. Oh, that's, uh, that's great because um, the juries are interested in engaging in the long, strong arm. Uh, funders are asking for some clarification on your community outreach strategy. So uh, I'm hoping that you can justify how each of those projects will benefit the community. Cool. Do you want well, me to go? I can choose which one? Okay, cool. Well, in your first order we're gonna of go choice. Great. So I'm gonna first go with uh, Frank Feeder, uh, uh, and their their first kind of feminist work called uh, uh, One Woman Lord of the Rings. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a huge demographic that's missed uh, in theater in general. I find, and this company and the Frank Theater acknowledges is, is the youth uh, theater kind of audience. And um, I think with the Lord of the Rings piece, they're they're really thinking of trying to engage the, those that demographic. Um, by, by using something like Lord of the Rings in relation to something that they can connect to. So they're kind of creating or establishing this idea of empowering feminism in all the, in all the senses of it through the, the lens of that is Lord of the Rings. Um, and I think with that, we'll create a lot more opportunities for, for more youth to really like, kind of see um, where, where the ring, I guess, goes, you know? Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Metaphors. Well, the, <laughs> the, the committee really, like, you know, supports the, uh, the goal to engage more youth, but the application didn't show any sign that the Frank had really surveyed local youth. It, it feels really just like someone in the office said, hey, kids like the Lord of the Rings, so let's put that on. So the, the committee, I'm afraid, is not in favor of, uh, of maintaining okay. that grant. Do so kids today like the Lord of the Rings movies? Like, we're all... 25 is... plus, like, would the youth today actually? <laughs> yes, <laughs> why we're really timeless. dubious about it. Of it, everyone's been watching Lord of the Rings <laughs> and all the other favorites. So that means I lost the grant. Yeah. I also lose the project and my company, the Frank Theater. That project company is okay. Say, right? Mark oh. on your on your card. Does it say the company? Does the project go? Um, the base, uh, unless other st well, I stated, is that the project goes back into your hand, but some cards actually say that it must go to the graveyard. It, it just says, uh, you be the judge, each project they fail to convince you of loses one grant. It says nothing Great. about the company. So that means that that project goes back into your hand, Ralph. Okay, and a Frank Theater is gone, though. Because uh, it only has one project. Uh... But it wasn't defeated, was it? It wasn't oh. defeated, so no, wasn't the Frank defeated. Theater is still here, yes. Okay, great. Just Sorry. they really tried to make a show that just no one, it just didn't fly. Okay, and then so I go back into my deck or no, my actual into physical? your hand, into your hand. Okay, good. Sorry, thank you. <laughs> uh, but moving great. on with community okay, benefit. Hey, um, I'm gay and dying of cancer by the green thumb. Uh, it usually, I, I feel like, again, with what Frank Theater is doing, trying to engage with new audiences, uh, green thumb is usually known as accessibility T um, T -Y uh, TYA. Um, but this work is actually quite a queer work, so it's it's uh, kind of connecting with the queer uh, part of the um, uh, accessibility community. Um, so I think right off the bat, that alone I think just opens so many doors and opportunities for connection between um, a demographic of accessibility, of people of accessibility that aren't really usually that connected um, in general theater, let alone accessible theater. Uh, so yeah, so they're gonna be doing a lot of new uh, projects on, on on like a weekly basis, trying to engage more uh, using using this like narrative that um, isn't heard as much in, uh, in in most works. That's all they said in that grant 
Mm, great, great. Uh, you know, there's some details that we still want to know more about, but we really do, the, the committee uh, admires Green Thumb uh, for correctly pointing out that uh, that queerness, that uh, different sexualities are often overlooked in, uh, in disability or youth communities. So uh, we're in favor of like, you know, some questions still, but let's see where they go with this. Great, thank you. <laughs> we have one more. Oh, uh, and uh, my last piece, uh, uh, the last piece we have is by The Real Wheels, uh, The Last Straw. Um, this is actually it, right, it, right in the wheelhouse of uh, Reels Wheels, wheelhouse. Um, uh, and although it's a work that maybe is more in line to what they're accustomed to and what, what the audiences are known for, um, I think for that reason, it actually makes even more of a reason for it to stay and continue working. And as it, it is contributing so much to the community with its multiple seasons of, of shows um, and its ability to connect to, to the audiences and even foster more and newer uh, connections uh, as, as it continues uh, showing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I'm afraid that sort of falls into, uh, there's a real challenge with established companies you know, when they look at community benefit, it's just this assumption that audiences come, they benefit. Uh, what else is there to say? And uh, and I don't think that's good enough in today's granting environment, so I'm afraid we're going to have to uh, say no to that grant. Okay, so I lose a grant for this one. You lose that grant. Okay. And if the show was open, it needs to revert to in development. Or was, like, fully funded, it reverts to in development. It was closed. It was closed, which means that it had been open, so it needs to revert to in development and get full funding okay. in order to open again. Great. To to close and cool. Open. Well done, Ralph. Thank you. So the situation that we're in, though, is that, Ralph, similarly to the situation you had before, you the one show that you had open has been spared. Uh, <laughs> I like you, need to Again, uh... the strategies that are being employed this evening are questionable. <laughs> Uh, but you no, know, I gave him something. You scratch right back, I scratch right back. You exactly, know, that's you know. how it is. Uh, <laughs> which means that can we uh, can we establish who exactly on Gay and Dying of Cancer, the play by Danny McIver, is competing against? Yeah. Um, let's see. What do we got? Uh, we got a cold read, which is in development currently worth six. Uh, mm -hmm. Just Ogle Me in development is currently worth four. And uh, Post Canada, also lots of development, in, also in development and uh, currently worth six. Cool, I'll do the first one. A cold read. Yeah. Again. Okay. So that <laughs> means again. that our current score, uh, the face off is? Six and six. Six and six, you lead the competition, Ralph. What Great. do you want to do? Uh, one of your performers has uh, been evicted during the run of the show. Oh, Their anxiety no. about not knowing where to sleep has affected the performance. So that's a minus two for you. Oh dear. That's oh, minus two. Really real. Six. So we're at four, seven, six. Uh, and I've got this wonderful one card in my hand, which does nothing to uh, increase this show's chances, but it's great news for Workshop West because they got operating funding. Uh, so multi-year, multi-yes. Uh, the target <laughs> company keeps all their grants in play even after a project is defeated. But note, this card does not prevent burnout. Okay, so you're playing that now. Yes. On this company, mm -hmm. uh, which means that the difference is still four to six and uh, that is the end of it because there's not an addition to the situation. And no. two points are going to go from Calgary to... 21, 26. Thank you, Milton. Uh, and so, it is now the... So much for a cold read. Yep. So much but for you, this grant. Nope, that grant stays with that company. Oh, the grant stays. Because you played operating funding. That's right. Why did I do that and then forget? Hmm. That was a True. smart card. But I like that card. Now, uh, Ralph, it's your strategy, your strategic planning phase. So, what do you got? Great. Um, well, I have a. I'm gonna put a. a I can't. Mm, ah. You have a trap down. If you you must burn that trap if you want to replace it. I don't know if I can use it right now. You cannot use that trap right now. I can't use it. Unless okay, somehow okay. it says it is a trap that I, that card doesn't exist. We've never made it. <laughs> nope, that's all. Nothing. 
Uh, okay, which means that, Mark, it is your concept phase. Great. Uh, these past few rounds have been a little bracing. I'm really excited to draw a whole new hand. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, what's going on here? This could be a game until the decks go out. I know, wow. And the arts companies just sort of flounder and flap at each other until someone... <laughs> uh, okay, so before we enter our application phase, actually, I'm going to, this is interesting, roll for the privilege of using this card. Uh, so this is a uh, very unique to Alberta card. It's called Casino Cash. <laughs> oh my god. Interesting. And uh, it's not dirty money if it's gone through a casino first. <laughs> so I need to roll odds to play this card in place of grants. When played, a company needs no further grants to open a single project of any value. The project can already be in development or from your hands. Uh, for anyone, again, watch, not watching yeah, from Alberta. Actually, could you just tell us like how much money does an Alberta company get from a casino usually? It's so the casino system is messed up. If you go to any casino in Alberta and you like cash in your chips, the people that are giving you money are actually volunteers from a nonprofit organization. Like, Whoa. the nonprofits, including arts companies, actually staff casinos in Alberta. And uh, in exchange for doing two days, which is like, I don't know, 40 or 50 volunteers over the course of two days, you get somewhere between like 60 to $80,000. Uh, and you can do that every, like 18 months. Which is amazing and happens nowhere else. That it I is know. perverse, weird, and it's how many nonprofits in Alberta survive. Though if anyone is watching in Manitoba or Saskatchewan and you do that there, let us know in the comments yeah. because uh, you're where we're making decks next. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna, if I get casino cash, it's going to swallow a bicycle. We have to roll odds in order, and Swallow Bicycle has not been rolling successfully so far. So we're rolling odds to see if Swallow Bicycle gets a casino. This is a flashback. This feels weird and bad, you guys. <laughs> so odds, come on. No! No! <laughs> not get a casino. Oh, no. uh, send to graveyard after roll. So farewell, casino card. It wasn't meant to be. Mark can you tell us, are there any companies, or you don't have to name the companies explicitly, but is it a thing where people bank on getting casino cash? Oh, uh, yeah. In order to do their seasons? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swallow a bicycle is one of them. Like, uh, <laughs> the only reason we were able to start like paying staff members was because we got our first casino and it like fully funds several of our projects. Now, to be fair to um, the people watching, that BC also has the BC gaming money yeah, that gaming. many companies access and many of them don't like to talk about. Everyone would like to talk about the arts organizations that they get money from, but BC Gaming, where, again, a number of people get a substantial portion of their yearly budgets. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find all of this information actually on the culturecapital.cards website, where we have a research tab where you can see every grant that companies have received in the last five months, or five years, sorry, in Alberta and BC, as well as Toronto and Montreal. So check out that if you're a data geek. Uh, so having failed to get a casino, we're back to the pedestrian task of applying for grants. So we're going to start <laughs> with... <laughs> Peasants. Uh, we're going to roll for Workshop West. Uh, oil boom is still in effect. Alberta's weird, y'all. Uh, so it, it needs to get one to five. And got it. Yay. Uh, so they have two grants and no project. Uh, because of operating funds. Yay, operating funds. Uh, Northern Light needs also one to five. Sorry, Mark um, and Patrick, I'm gonna, can I just take a quick bathroom break as he's rolling these uh, grant dices? Uh, can you swear on like the color blue that yeah. you have no secrets hidden in your bathroom? I suppose this is take it. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, to everyone watching, I guess this is the time to take a bathroom break. Um, if he's he's already winning. If he starts winning like a lot more, this is gonna be like the U.S. election. I'm gonna be like, oh, I don't know about this. The results are. Uh, I, I guess it could have been a thing where we, you know, like any kind of show, you're forced to sit there in our current theater etiquettes where no one's allowed to get up and leave the theater. Just hold um, it and just hold it, hold and it. then totally 
blank out on uh, the second so many significant often. components of <laughs> the performance. I guess if it's a second, um, if there was an intermission, you could have peed. You should have peed at intermission, is what I'm saying. Uh, so we got a grant for Northern Lights. We're now rolling for uh, Lunchbox. Same deal, Oil Boom 5. And they got a 5. They got a 5. Benefit from the, whoops. Benefit from the Oil Boom. And Swallow Bicycle, I'm real sorry, buddies. Uh, we go, went for Casino Cash, now we're rolling for grants. We want a 1. We did not get it, Swallow Bicycle. Langers without uh, without any money. However, Workshop West uh, is going to put on. Uh, what are they going to put on? Boop, boop, boop. They are going to put on "Let My Hands Talk." Uh, it is a show completely in American Sign Language (ASL) for deaf and hard of hearing communities, reflecting upon the 2019 Accessibility for People with Disabilities policy. It, uh, when is in, in uh, production, is worth eight, but needs three grants to open and currently has two. So it is in development and so not a specialty. A company in BC did it first, and then someone you know, in Alberta thought it sounded cool and did it. Workshop West is now, this is their second time picking up a project that has closed or been in development elsewhere. So Workshop West, <laughs> picking uh, up what other people drop. Mark, do you have anything that is open for this production round? I do not. Okay. So you've got a whole bunch of shows that need three grants to open. Is that what's happening here? Uh, that is correct. That sounds like a going out swinging. <laughs> uh, so that means it's your strategy phase, uh, strategic planning. Do you have any strategic foresight that you would like to apply? Uh, now, historically, you've said that strategic planning is a waste of time. <laughs> Uh, but I have been chasing. Your uh, I think that has not been working out for me. So uh, I'm going to uh, introduce a hot topic. Okay. A hot topic is political. Uh, so what this means is, uh, well, first we have to say almost every major world leader is a complete letdown, which... True. Uh, and this means that all projects in play with the keyword political are boosted for the rest of the game or until replaced by another hot topic. So that's a plus four to any political uh, projects. Great. So In addition the board, to the oil boom. Does anyone have a political project currently on the table? I do. No. Just ogle me. Just ogle me. Yeah. Or ogle me. Um, ogle? So uh, what, uh, what do you want to do? Oh, well, that's just that's the strategy. End. Oh, that's your strategy. OK, great. So yes. now. Uh, Ralph, it is your concept phase. Okay. And uh, begin by discarding as many as you wish. Uh, yeah, I'm going to discard one card. Oh, I'll discard two cards. I'll go back and pick up seven again. Ooh. <sighs> Slowly, the dancing gets more and more erratic as the numbers get higher and higher. So, I'm gonna... The Frank Theater has got a partner with the Kulch, which it gives them a them. GP a of six. Wow. That's, pretty, that's a good partnership. Yeah, yeah that's great. Yeah. Um, so, and uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna roll for a grant that I got automatically already, because it's the Kulch, and in collaboration with... Uh, uh, Frank Feeder, and I'm also I'm gonna add I'm gonna add one prod uh, one project that goes straight into a uh, project phase uh, between two V's. It's a uh, a new take on old classic. Two people perform uh, the vagina monologues at the same time in unison. Uh, it's a traditional and queer work. Uh, the Frank Theater is queer, so it has a plus three. And its value is one right now, so it's a value of four. Uh, okay. And then I'm gonna. I want. I would like to re-roll. I'll try to reopen. Uh, oh, sorry. I'm gonna. I'm gonna roll for uh, the last straw. So it's at three right now. So because of the oil. Yeah. 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 Uh, I can. Yeah. I can. Get <laughs> yeah. Up to, I get up to, up to five. five. That's exactly correct. <laughs> What's oh, how we yeah, feel yeah. about it too? Yeah. <laughs> it's a five. Great. That means we I can reopen to, the last we draw. Interrogate this bold method. 
it's I a didn't. magic bowl. I was yeah. like, I'm not even touching it now. Um, uh, so that's me open now, and I'm also gonna try to, um, I'm gonna do that, that's all I'm gonna do. That's but, all you're gonna do. You know no, what? No, no, I'm gonna re I'm gonna try to reopen. I'm gonna try to reopen. Uh, I'm gay and dying of cancer by Green Thumb. Um, right now it's closed at four, and when it opens, it's at six. So I need to get a uh, an odd. Oh, it's two, so it didn't reopen. All good. So I'll go uh, straight. Faith has been restored my... in the bowl. <laughs> what are your uh, what are your two projects currently worth in their production phase? Right now, uh, my Frank Theater work with uh, Between Two V's is a value of four. Uh, the last straw right now as open is a ten. And what's really unfortunate about uh, the last straw is Sigmund fraud. Your general manager has been giving you the slip. They've been paying themselves twice. So that project requires one extra grant in order to open. Okay. Okay. So it's back it's on happened. close, but but it only so it goes back to development. Okay. And okay. you just need okay. another one in order to remember it, okay. or in order to open it. Great. Um. So I'm gonna. I can. So I'm in strategy. I mean, no, I'm in a. Uh, I have to. That I'm, I'm gonna compete. In production. Yeah. I'm like battle mode. Uh, I'm gonna <laughs> compete now. Indeed. There's a um, music. They're all in development, correct? Uh, all of my projects are in development. Yes. What are they all in development right now? Uh, this one, let my hands talk, is worth four. Uh, okay. Just ogle me is uh, with its political bonus worth eight. Uh, and Post Canada is worth six with its Canadian bonus. Oh, yes, Canadian bonus, so six. Okay, um, I'll do that first one that you had. Let's let my yeah. hands talk. That's yep, yes. worth uh, four. So right now I'm at a I'm at a I'm at a four as well. But yours is four. Correct. Four and four. It's the current so setting. I'm gonna you get add. To a random blogger says, your show was memorable. That's a quote you can go to social media with. So plus two Ooh. on my between two Vs. Thanks, you know, bloggers. the kids these days, those vagina monologues. Yeah. A tweet is worth so much now. <laughs> a tweet up a on your poster, is yeah. worth. <laughs> uh, so, all right, ahead, so that means that Mark, it's your response. What well, do you got? Uh, that blogger is great, but did you know that Let My Hands Talk features BFAs from U of A? Uh, your performers were trained at the University of Alberta, and that is a solid education. So this project gets a plus two, so it is uh, now at a six. So we have a uh, six Hi. to a six. Is that correct? Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, you missed some important emails that went straight to your junk folder. Oh. Minus one for you, so now oh, we're at five no, and a six. No. Five serving six. Mark Hopkins, what do you got? I got nothing. I will <sighs> take that hit. That uh, junk community. folders are really real. My yeah. Really real thing. Especially like the other inbox on Facebook, you know, like when you, you find 12 months later, that's like, there's a yeah, job that's like, like fully and like if, a grant that you got or, something, or like some weird project, like, yeah, anyways. And if your curator is reaching out through Facebook, it's questionable in the first place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, or Instagram. Which means a point is migrating. I believe we are at 19 to 27. 27. And uh, that goes away. That goes away. The grants go, oh, grants would stay, except grants for. Stay. Uh, Workshop West has now lost two projects, and the operating grant does not prevent burnout, unfortunately. It does not. It's very explicitly so, written uh, on the card. Yeah, they're going to disperse their remaining funds to some worthy charity, and they are going to fold. Tragic. Uh, cards back to the graveyard. Ralph, it is your strategic planning. What do you want to do now? Ah, uh, um... I'm getting nothing else. I think I've uh, I've done all I could. Okay, which means we're, we're back to Mark. This is getting very close to the bottom of a deck. I I'm going to be very tense. I'm glad uh, so I had to we're so so we're, we went so long that I had to release. My <laughs> That's not saying much. That's not saying much. I'm going to discard one card and draw six more. Okay. It says bladder anymore. Also, why did I say bladder? As opposed to what? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> what other I organ think it's are you storing? <laughs> no one says it that anymore. They call it this other thing. <laughs> eggplant? An eggplant? It's today. Um, um, eggplant emoji. Hey. 
Uh, so we're going to bring a couple more uh, companies into the fray, because why not? Uh, we're bringing in One Yellow Rabbit, established 1982, do experimental and edgy work on the grand power of five. Okay. And Punctuate Theater, established 2010, specializing in indigenous and political work, a grand power of two. Very good. We've got another full roster of five companies. Yep. Uh, so let's start rolling, shall we? Uh, one Yellow Rabbit needs one through five. And they got a three! Way to go, rabbits. I worked for them for six years. Did you? Yeah. Uh, Northern Light is hoping to open just Ogle Me. Uh, Oil Boom needs one to five. Got a six. <gasps> Oil Boom does not always benefit. Lunchbox also hopefully benefiting from the Oil Boom. It is! And they can open. Finally, host Canada. Uh, Swallow Bicycle still needs that one. Let's get a one for Swallow Bicycle. We got a two. This is just mean. And we need... You're gonna burn that company soon enough. <laughs> <laughs> we need a two for Punctuate Theater. We got a one. Way to go, Punctuate. But Swallow Bicycle just can't get any love. Uh, so. Uh... The Rabbits are going to put in development a show called The Critics Are Raving. Alberta's wildest art review turned earth-shaking dance party is back with well-designed music and lights. Hosted by local arts writers, Liz Nichols, Paul McLean, and Jenna Shemigan. You won't want to miss this one, BYOB. Uh, it needs one more grant in order to open, but it is participatory and edgy, and One Yellow Rabbit, as we all know, is edgy. So while in development, it has a power of three. Uh, okay. Side note, uh, Jenna Shemagun just uh, authored a great uh, article about uh, BIPOC artists in Calgary and how Calgary is super racist. So y'all should check that out. <laughs> check it out, audience. Yeah. Uh, do you want to play? You got to play another co uh, project on Punctuate in order to keep that money, though. Indeed. Mark. So uh, Punctuate is going to uh, mount uh, Wexit. It is a real time performance of birds flying south for the winter and the rich fleeing from environmental realities. Uh, it normally would only be worth uh, one project point, but because it is political, and that's our hot topic, it is now worth five in production. So we've got two shows ready to compete in Calgary. Uh, Mark, which of Ralph's shows are you targeting? The familiar... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> What's going on here? Yeah, so uh, from here to here, uh, we have currently I'm Getting Dying of Cancer. It's currently closed at four. Um, and when it's in project, it's six, and I need an odd to reopen. Uh, we have The Last Straw that's currently in development. Uh, it has to have three grants to, to, um, to be an actual project. Right now, it's a value of five. Okay. Um, and uh, between the two Vs, it's currently closed. It's a value of one. Uh, and when but it's, it's open, Sorry, but it's boosted, it's boosted with a three, so it's a four. Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. Uh, so to start with, uh, Wexit at Punctuate Theater is going to go after that last one you mentioned. Yep. Uh, okay, between two Vs versus Wexit. So currently it's at four. And this is currently at uh, five because of the political bonus. Great. Okay, okay I'm going to roll. I'm mark... going to risk to roll to reopen. Okay. And I need an odd. One. A one, it's open. Does that change the value of this show at all? It's back to no, still, it's still, still four. <laughs> it's still as four. good open as it is closed. <laughs> um, so we're sitting at a five, so I'm going to let it ride for the moment. Five to four, um, which, how are you going to respond, Ralph? I have a trap card. Oh, you do. Uh, you didn't realize that your show dates are at the same time as another very popular oh, show. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Uh, sure. sure. Ticket sales suffer. Minus six. Minus, Minus six. six. That Negative one, two, wow. four is the current standing. Okay, but what's uh, really great, like that was, like mea culpa, that was a mistake. But uh, Wexit features beautiful people. Uh, the performers are acceptably beautiful by the standards of mainstream Western media, and they are attracting audiences. Once it got opened, it really uh, uh, started picking up. So that's a plus six. Okay, so Wait, no well, one's I, coming, but I they're will, beautiful. <laughs> so it's I'll five rebuttal. to four still. Sorry, it's what? It's five, five for Mark, four. four for you, okay. Ralph. 
Uh, this is an all, an all or nothing uh, strategy card. Your interdisciplinary practice makes you look like you're either the next hotshot who can do it all or a completely indecisive artist. I need an evens for a plus six oh. or an odds for a plus six. Um, I have to target on one of my projects, correct? That's right. You can target any project you want. It's going to be your project or your opponent's project. I will do my project. Okay. So I'm trying to get an even to get a plus six. Okay. It's a one. It's a one, which means it's a minus six to oh, you. Is that no. correct? Oh, no. Yeah, minus six. You have minus two. Mark, you have five. How do you want to respond? I'm going to let that ride. You are going to take five points from Ralph. Back 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, and I also lose the Frank Theater and the Colch. Yes, you do. Oh. Devastating. All or nothing. Fond of both of those organizations. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, so we still, yeah. of course, have Post Canada that's in production. Yep. Yes, we do. Uh, so it's uh, currently worth boop, 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 uh, 10. Uh, God, I'm so sorry. Can you remind me of your scores? Okay, so um, I'm Game Dying of Cancer is a 4. And. Uh, the last straw is at a, sorry, it's still in development, but it's at a five. And uh, can either of them reopen? Sorry, the other one, can, I can reopen. Yes, I'm game dying of cancer. So when it reopens, it will be a, it will be a six. Okay, let's uh, go at the second one you mentioned, the one that is- The last the straw? Yeah. Last straw. Should be your arch nemesis at this point, Mark. Yeah, it is. I know its name. Set of five. <laughs> The last straw. Uh, so it's currently sitting at a 10 to 5. I'm going to see what Ralph has to say. I have Wait. nothing to say. <sighs> Come back. Okay, five oh. points going from Vancouver back 20, to 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, a lot of straws were probably used. Yeah, it makes him saying it was the last one, but it wasn't. Uh, well, all right, so that's the end of that competition round. Mark, it's your strategic planning phase. What are you going to do? Uh, I am going to lay a trap. And that was a big round. Going to leave it there. OK, very good. Cool. Uh, which gonna, means that we're going to Ralph. Put I'm gonna put one grant. I'm gonna put one uh, card into the uh, graveyard. I'm gonna pick up six. And for I'm gonna roll for reels wheels, which because of the oil I can get up to five. I need up to five to open. Oops, that's a lie. I'm also gonna put machine noisy down as a company. Okay. And it's at a at a two. It doesn't have the ability, but I'm gonna also roll for a grant for Machine Noisy. So I'll do Machine Noisy first. I need a one or a two. Got a six, so yeah. nothing. For real wheels, I need a one to a five. I got a four. Nice. Put a Very grant good. down. We'll, uh, and I'll put. Yeah, sure. I'll, <laughs> very not part, very different for reels. Wheels. Uh, they're gonna do a piece about uh, a tr trans reimagining of your Euri um, Euripides' tale of solidarity, struggle, and tragic efforts of turf wars, Trojan women. Wow. Um, no pluses. It's just gonna go at a two in project phase right away. Uh, and then I'm gonna roll to reopen. I'm gay and dying of cancer. So I need an odd to reopen. One. The, one. the bowl strikes again. The bowl. We need dollar stores. Okay. So I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I have to battle some. I'm gonna. <laughs> Sorry, I keep saying battle. I'm just used to saying battle. Um, so I have a two. Can you um tell me um what you got you already? Gotcha. So starting here, we have Critics Are Raving, uh, which is in development worth two, but gets a plus one edgy bonus. So it's sitting at three. 
Uh, Just Ogle Me is uh, usually, it's in development, usually at a four, but gets a political bonus, so it's eight. Uh, Post Canada is closed, uh, usually worth five, but it has a Canadian bonus, so it's worth seven, and can reopen, and at which point would be worth ten. Uh, and then we have Wexit, uh, closed is worth one, open is worth one, so it really doesn't matter, and uh, gets a political... Oh, how does this work? It gets a political bonus because it's a hot topic and Punctuate is good at political theater. That is correct. So it would get the punctu- it would get Punctuate's bonus plus the hot topic bonus. Great. So it gets uh, plus three, plus four. So uh, this is worth eight. Whether it's closed or open, it's just worth eight. Wait, can you repeat the, the one on the second one to your left? This yeah. one? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, just ogle me. It is in development worth eight because it's political okay cool cool so i guess what i'm gonna do is uh i'm gonna i'm gonna attack that one yeah great just ogle me just ogle ogle me me worth eight eight. yeah and i'm gonna okay i can add something or is it you can add someone who which one are you competing with first though uh, which oh, is your sorry, game Trojan Giant Women? Or, Trojan Women. Okay, Trojan yeah. Women against Just Ogle Me. Yep, is that a two, but I'm gonna add, uh, you demonstrated success with um, equal opportunity, puts you at, uh, in the limelight. Gender equal, uh, gender equity, plus six, so that's right. a value of ten now. Ten to eight, am I correct? Yes. Okay, Mark, eight serving ten, how are you going to respond? Uh, well, uh, that company, I'm afraid, is digging your heels in. Uh, you're not keeping up with today's culture. People are starting to think you're a bit backwards. Uh, so that's a minus four. Ooh. Minus four, which means that the current score is six serving eight. Ralph. Okay. Uh, um, right now, uh, there's a, 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 I'm gonna put a event, sorry. <laughs> to read and try to articulate really well. Uh, the venue you've chosen um, are not wheelchair accessible, um, so you're gonna get a minus one. Ah, uh, Ralph, that is a great card, however. That's a great card that and I And you can't cannot use. play that unless you're in strategic planning. Great, and so I used it. Um, <laughs> perfect. But I can't do anything. Okay, which means there's a two point difference. Okay, you're I can on the offense. It? Nope. There's a two point okay. difference. Unless you have something else that is going to raise or lower the value of a project, this is the I end of I have nothing else, so I have lost that project. Two points are going to Calgary, and 30, six, 51. Uh, you lose Virgin Women. And I also lose Real Wheels. Oh. They really were doing it. This is a really exciting game, guys. <laughs> We, it could have been over an hour ago, but we're still here. <laughs> so we're going on the further end of uh, the, our time frame. So, and then I have one more project to um, to compete with. You got to do um, it. I'm getting dying of cancer. Right now, it's a value of six, uh, and I'm gonna target that uh, that last one that you had. That's a, at a two. Uh, the one yellow rabbit. Right, the other one. The other one. Sorry, oh. the opposite side. Are you sure? Uh, this is Wexit, which uh, is worth one close or open, gets a plus three and a plus four bonus to give it a eight. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. Oh. If it opens, though. Oh, if it opens. Either way, it's close oh, no, or open. Either way. Is worth one. Yes, you're correct. Yeah. Okay. Oh, either way. Okay. And what's the other ones again? Sorry. Uh, this uh, one yellow rabbit is worth uh, three in development right now. Sure, let's uh, do that one. Excluded. Okay, great. Let's do that one. <laughs> Okay, I'm so at I'm a getting, six. I'm gay and dying of cancer. Six. Mark, one yellow rabbit show is? Uh, worth a three because it is edgy. Okay, great. Six, serving three. Ralph, your lead. Uh, that's all, I'm, um, I'm gonna, uh, that's all I'm gonna do. Okay, which means that, Mark, how do you want to respond? Well, unfortunately, three, serving six. you've fallen into a trap. Uh, you did a marketing typo. Uh, you printed oh. the wrong dates on your marketing material, so nobody comes to your show. They come, oh. like, next week. Oh, so much. that's worth minus six. Oh, Zero to three. Zero serving three. Ralph. Um, I have nothing to do. No. Tragic. So, which means that I'm gay and dying of cancer is dead, and I... Uh, 
your money goes back to the government. How many more? Also, uh, last project for Green Thumb. Oh, oh Green Thumb. Thumb. Ah, we've known them for such a long time. Which means that it's still your turn, though, Ralph. That was a very difficult offense, uh, offensive turn. Was uh, that a movement of three communities? That was a movement of Correct. three communities. 30, 33, 24. So, uh, I, so I can use a great card now. Move. You can play great cards during your strategy phase. That is correct. Wait. Uh, I have... Uh, the venue you've chosen will, are not wheelchair accessible, so I'm gonna get a minus one to your communities directly. Thirty-three. Should have made and it wheelchair if, accessible. And if that's all you've got, Ralph, we're back over to Calgary. That's all I got. My head is empty again, so seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Really getting low on that deck over there. All right. So just to clarify, this is not one of those games where when you run out of cards, you win. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes that happens. Like the game ends when you run out of cards. That is not how the arts economy works. When you run out, everyone else just keeps going on without you. That's true. It's true. They do. <laughs> so so we, we are going go to keep forever, going until <laughs> there is no more. Upsetting. Either all the communities have migrated from one place to another where there is absolutely nothing else to be done. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna enter my application phase, starting over here once again with one yellow rabbit, grant power of five, let's do this. We did it! So they are now opening Critics are Raving, which successfully fended off opposition earlier. Uh, Northern Light needs a one to five, got a one. It is now opening, just ogle me. Uh, Lunchbox Theater, one to five. Oh, never mind, it needs to reopen. Swallow a bicycle, we're getting that one. This is happening. Will it? It is not happening. <laughs> uh, punctuate, needs one or two. Did not get it. All right, so we have... Uh, Wait, sorry, gonna... Mark, just to clarify, does Punctuate need an even or an odd to reopen that show? Oh, uh, it needs evens. Because you rolled a two. Oh. So does that mean it's reopened? That means it reopens. Oh, great. I didn't even know what I was doing, but did it right. Uh, Post Canada needs all odds to reopen. Did not get them. So I have three shows open. Uh, I, I have know. nothing. You have so nothing you're going to my communities directly. Do you have an empty hand, Ralph? I have, I have three cards, but they can't do it. I will not be able to do anything. Oh, no. Which means, uh, Mark, how are you going to proceed? Well, I mean, I think I'll just let it ride. Like, it seems Which like are, insult to injury. What are we going to so, do? What's, what's playing uh, first? The Critics Are Raving is playing first. It is uh, worth five because it is edgy and so is One Yellow Rabbit. Okay, which means five against zero. Any response, Ralph? Nope, nothing. No response, which means that five points to Calgary. 11, 13, 8, 30, 30, 30, 38. Next up. Uh, just ogle me uh, is worth uh, 12 because of the political bonus. It is a 12 to 0? Is that what you're saying to me? I think that is what I'm saying. There are not 12 communities, but there are seven that are left. Which means that seven communities, unless Ralph has something that he's got to do. Can you do it, Ralph? You can't. Seven communities to Calgary. 39, 40, 41, 42, 42 43, 43 44, 0. 45. <laughs> Player communities have been reduced to zero. Game over. Alberta, again. <laughs> Congratulations. The game is I over. I did not think it was going to end that round. No, I mean... Neither did I. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, congratulations, Mark, on winning this evening's game. Thank you for a wonderful game, Ralph. That was... Thank uh, you. Uh, wow, that was riveting. I was really like... <laughs> Before we obviously wrap up this evening, we've got another stage... Uh, a little something that we need to do, Milton. So in the spirit of many of Canada's most established arts prizes, we have asked both of you to select a protege in advance who will receive $250 of prize money from this match if you won. So Mark, you have won this match. Please tell us who they are and tell us a little bit about why you chose them. 
Sure. Uh, I'm really pleased. My protege is uh, Sleeman Aldib. Uh, Sleeman is the founder of a, a, well, it's sort of a burgeoning, soon to emerge on the scene company called Kawalis Act, which stands for Arab Canadian Theatre here in, uh, in Calgary. Uh, I've worked with him for a number of years since he arrived from Syria, and uh, we recently produced a show called The Opposites, which sort of invited Canadians to uh, step into the literal shoes of, uh, of refugees seeking uh, migrant status uh, in Syria. Cool. All right. Um, can you please uh, give them a call and tell them that they have been selected as your protege, please? I can. Should I zoom going on my phone while I do that? I think you can hang up the zoom on your phone. Does Milton, is that correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Hanging up zoom. All right, let's give Sleeman a call. What if he's watching? I can't see in the chat. Milton, can you see in the Facebook chat? <laughs> Not that I've it's noticed. It's me. It's me. <laughs> I, I don't know if he knows that I'm doing this, uh, like playing this game at all. <laughs> So I should put it on speaker, eh? Yes, please. Hey, friend. Sleeman, it's Mark. How are you? Good. How you doing? How you doing? Good. Uh, do you have a sec? Yeah, I have. Awesome. Uh, so I don't know if you know, I was playing a card game tonight called uh, Culture Capital. OK. And uh, I, I won which is very cool. Okay. Uh, and uh, they asked me to select a protege, like somebody that I wanted to uh, share my winnings with, and I chose you. Oh, well, fantastic, okay. <laughs> so uh, what that means is you get, that means he gets $250, right? That's yes. correct. Yeah, you get $250. 250 Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah. No. You're not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, not kidding. I'm serious. Not kidding. Yes. <laughs> oh my God! Why? Why <laughs> you? Because you've been working so hard, and uh, you know, I know. So uh, the, um, we're actually live on the internet right now. I should have told you that at the top of the call. So you <laughs> do that. Sorry. Yeah, you're doing great, though. Um, well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, well, you made my day. Uh, yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, thank you very much, Mark. And, and Sleeman, okay. the reason why, like I know um, for those that are watching, uh, Kawalis, uh, we did the opposite last, uh, when was that, in December, Sleeman? Yeah, no, December. So Kawalis was supposed to have an incredibly busy, like a premiere season uh, right now. They have three shows in development, uh, and all of them have been postponed by COVID. So I know it's been rough, and uh, I'm really, like, I, I know you can use that money to put those shows up uh, whenever we're able to. Oh my God! Thank you very much, Mark. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You're welcome, buddy. Aww. Yeah. And uh, hello to everybody who's watching. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Thanks, Liam. I'm gonna hang up now, but uh, I'll get in touch with you later. Talk to you soon, bud. Sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, that was precious. Uh, great. <sighs> Well, thank you so much, Mark. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what kind of work these artists are making. Uh, before we r like hang up for the evening, we have a special, uh, you know, a couple of thank yous that we should say ourselves, which are, first of all, thank you to everyone who is who has stuck it through this evening. This is another uh, epic night of Culture Capital Online. The games can literally end in 25 minutes and sometimes they take a lot longer. Uh, we should also thank the BC Arts Council and the Canada Council for the Arts who have given us the prize funding uh, that we allocate to the winners and players. Uh, we also should thank for the, uh, in respect to the history of Culture Capital's development, Boca de Lupo for our initial residency, developing the project, the Edmonton Arts Council and Grace Law, Azimuth Theatre and Chinook Series in Edmonton where we premiered the first official public tournament when we did things in person. High Performance Rodeo in Laurel Green in Calgary, Darling Foundry in Montreal, Summer Works in Toronto, and of course our American friends at HowlRound who are making all of this streaming possible. And we also want to do a huge shout out to April Lung who has been running the uh, social media for us uh, for the chat and tagging all the companies that have been played, uh, and especially as we went through both decks. So thank you so much for doing that. 
Um, I just also want to say we have two upcoming matches, one on September 30th. That one features an Ontario-based artist versus an Albertan uh, or an Alberta-based artist. Uh, and then on October 27th, we have another match uh, with an Ontario-based artist and a BC-based artist. Um, so we'll see in the next match if Alberta can reign supreme for a third match in a row. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, oh, we just yeah. want to say, of course, a thank you again, Mark and Ralph, for taking part in this match. Uh, it means the world to us, and uh, you've really given so much to this match, in addition to a lot of great information for anyone watching. Uh, you can follow this project uh, or any future future iterations of it uh, on Instagram, Facebook, and of course on our website at culturecapital.cards. Over to you, Patrick. So uh, thank you so much to everyone. And we're going to leave the stream running for probably about five minutes. But just as is, uh, we sort of set up as a custom, is there anything, Mark or Ralph, that you want to sort of say what you're doing? If you've got a shameless promotion, uh, you know, a a plug or you could be like nah i'm cool i'm just sitting waiting for you know uh the world to turn uh take it away what are you working on do you have anything that you want to plug do you want do you want to go first do you have any sure not uh specifically uh swallow bicycle has two projects in development one of which might premiere in april but we're still like you know COVID. we're figuring that shit out so uh but Swallow Bicycle, I have a wonderful team, Bianca Guimaraes Emmanuel, Chris Vanessa Tioshin, and Poe Mojave, and we're doing some real cool anti-racist and restructuring work behind the scenes. So uh, stay tuned and remember those names because they are going to be huge. Cool. Great, thank you. Ralph. Um, with my company, Fake Knot, uh, I have three projects actually like, coming up these next few months. Uh, um, one is a is a moving of uh, Hinky Punk, which is a work I uh, I did a tour with around Edmonton, Calgary, and Regina last year. It was great. Was supposed to pre yeah, <laughs> thanks, Mark. Mark was there. Um, it was supposed to um, go on a VADF in March, but of course during COVID, it got moved. So now we're doing a live stream version in September the 29th to uh, October 3rd. We have four shows. Uh, via live stream, we're going to be using it like a multitude of cameras, so you have a, a the ability as a viewer to watch from different angles of the work, since it is in the round. Uh, I'm also premiering a new work at the mine February uh, called Whip, uh, where the, pe the the dancers don't see for 50 minutes, and we're using sound and light to kind of help inform the the movers in space. And I'm uh, showing some stuff with Milton, uh, actually uh, called Blue Screen. It's a, we have two versions, kind of one is going to be uh, three short films. Uh, using blue chroma key, uh, and it's, then uh, the at form at form in September eighteenth, and then we have a, a, a some li a live version via live stream as uh, th with the uh, New Forms Festival in October. Great, so lots. And also, if you want to come to Vogue, I teach Vogue classes with Van Vogue Jam every Tuesdays. Uh, we're doing online classes starting uh, this Tuesday on the eighth, uh, eight p.m. to nine p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, free by donation. Yeah, lots of things. <laughs> Wicked. Uh, that's so great. Thank you both so much. And I think that's, I think that's the end Yay. of this Yay. evening's nice show. Yay, nice to play with you, Mark. Thank you, yeah, Patrick. Yeah, thanks and for a great day, Ralph. Thank you both. Thank you all. <sighs> thanks, everyone. Again, we're going to leave the stream now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to leave the stream running for a little bit, just in case anyone wants to continue in the chat or say any goodbyes. We'll likely see you there. Uh, otherwise, we're going to turn this off. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, and for everyone who's watching, thanks so much. Uh, yeah, keep in touch for the next match. Good night. Bye. Good night.